are. Let's go. This week, the girls and I are in New York City to rehearse for a Joffrey Ballet audition. Come on, ladies, let's go. For these little girls, this is a chance of a lifetime. I don't want to see any of them blow it. This competition season has been extremely tough and extremely rewarding. But I think the kids are ready for whatever New York City has to offer. They want to show their own talents, and I think this is a great opportunity. Girls, this is the big time. We are here in New York City in the dance mecca of the world, right here. And I want you to take it all in. Everybody you pass on that street probably took a dance lesson at some point in their life. Do you understand that? Yes, there's a lot of kids that win competitions, a lot of kids that get crowns on their heads, and there's a handful that make it in the industry. Remember that. I want to talk about Michigan first. We are not going to win a group dance until everybody in this group is on the same level. Number 131A, wipe them out, Star Dance Studio. When parts of the choreography are in unison, you all need to be in unison. That's what it means. Last week, these girls lost again. They were sloppy, their timing was off. They need to bond as a group. It's not always about your solos. It's about that group, and you need to learn to dance in a group. If you don't apply the corrections, you're not going to improve. And that's the issue. Until they realize that, it's not gonna happen. Now, on with the pyramid. Luckily, the pyramid found its way to Manhattan. Yay. On the bottom of the pyramid is Paige. Did you correct the arms? Yes. Did you put the phone away? No. She gets no credit for doing her back tuck or her press or... Credit? It's, it's her phone. I thought watching Paige in the group number, I thought she did great. I just don't think that Abby gives her enough credit. She always sticks her in the back and doesn't pay attention to her, and I think she can hold her own. I, I think she's fine in the group. Next, Mackenzie. You can improv if you're early on the music in a solo. But when you do it in a trio and you don't tell the other two partners to do it ahead of time, you made them look like idiots because you were out there, woo, shaking it up. Understood? Next, Chloe. Time to face the music. Forgot your routine. You're not seven anymore. You're 10 years old. You can't make up your own thing and wait to get back onto the music when 35 other dancers are doing the right thing. That's a pink slip. That's the unemployment line. Understood? Next, Nia. You hurt your foot, you worked through it, it all worked out. However, it's the technique. And it's like we tell you over and over, it's up to you. Do you want to fix it? Do you want to make it better? Then you will. Understood? Next, we have Brooke. Brooke, you did what you needed to do but you always just do what you needed to do. I want to see more from you. I'd love to give her more, but Miss Abby spends all her time with all the other girls. And on top, again, is Maddie. I challenge you, you keep winning your solos because you pick up quickly. No big surprise, for the fifth week in a row, Maddie reigns supreme at the top of the pyramid. I want to talk about after the competition. The scout from the Joffrey Ballet School came to our dressing room. They chose the Abbey Lee Dance Company. The Joffrey Ballet School has huge history here. Robert Joffrey started the school in 1953. There are people from all over the world coming here to train. You're going to be going to the Joffrey School with some of the most prestigious instructors in all of New York. Throughout the year, Joffrey auditions over 20,000 dancers for their summer intensive program and they only give a handful of scholarships away. If one of my girls would get those scholarships, that would just be another feather in my cap. The judges that are judging you are three instructors at the Joffrey School. They're going to look at feet, turnout, body lines. Everything you've learned up until this point is gonna come into play in this audition. I have to tell you that I'm very nervous for our girls to be auditioning for the Joffrey Ballet School, simply because our girls don't get a lot of ballet anymore. So I hope that they don't embarrass themselves. You guys need to fight for this. We have to work on a ballet combination today. We have to work on a short presentation for each one of you to do when you go into that audition. I expected you to look like ballerinas. 
I'm shocked at the way you're dressed. Here you are in New York City going to a professional dance studio. You never know who's going to be there. You never know who's going to see you. You always want to look your best. You're going to have pink tights on. You're going to have a leotard on. You're going to have your hair in a bun. So moms, you're going to have to go out. You're going to have to hit the dancewear store. And I want them looking like ballerinas. The look is half the battle. Mommy's not going to be there. Abby's not going to be in there. It's you. You either sink or swim. And please don't embarrass me. It's a really big deal to dance at the Joffrey Ballet School, especially when you're young. Performing for a huge audience actually doesn't really get me that nervous. But performing for like three of like amazing ballerinas, it, that's a little nerve wracking. In addition to our rehearsals for this ballet audition, we are also going to be working on a number. You heard that right. So we will be attending Starbound competition in Paramus, New Jersey. And the competition is going to be fierce. I've had it with these girls. We are going to Starbound this weekend, and they have a reputation to uphold. They are reigning national champions. I expect them to win, and they're going to do it. Ladies, our group routine this week is about a very serious topic. Okay. Let me just say, each one of you is in jail. I had a brilliant idea to do kind of a take on an old number from the Broadway show Chicago. But I want to water it down for 9, 10, 11 year olds. So they're like jailbirds. It's dark, it's a bit avant-garde, and it's gonna be fun. It's very weird being in jail because I've never been there before. <laughs> Chloe, you just came off a solo. You forgot your routine. You got to get right back on that horse. You're going to be doing a solo this weekend. Maddie, you've been undefeated for the last few weeks, so I'm challenging you once again to do a solo at Starbound. This might be the busiest week of your life. Abby bit off more than she could chew last week with trios and solos and group dances, and this week we're doing group dances and solos and the Joffrey audition. Can't we just focus on one thing? I know that I'm putting the pressure on you, but you know what? There's a time for pressure, and it's right now. You are representing the Abby Lee Dance Company. You are representing 32 years of history. Do you understand that? Don't blow it. Girls, come on in. I have a really spectacular announcement that I want to make. I found out that Joffrey Ballet is having open auditions in my most favorite city in the world. New York. New York. I've got a lot of work that I have to do. I think that we are completely ready to go up against some of Abby's dancers and audition for a scholarship to Joffrey. We're going to hit the audition, and then we're going to New Jersey because Starbound is there. Is Abby going to do that? Yeah. Pressure's on, Miss Kendall. There's probably going to be more and more events that we run into Abby. That's just the way it is. I think that we probably have better ballet training than they do, but we'll see. Abby is way stuck in vaudeville. She's still dancing on a 1940s stage with her mom, and we have a wonderful routine that is very heartfelt that I think that finally we may be able to beat Abby with this number. Go. One, two, three, two, two, three, boom! something from one of your solos, something that is amazing that you do better than anybody else does. But the Abby Lee Dance Company is going to concentrate on two main things, the Joffrey Ballet audition and the very next day, the Starbound competition. I don't think that you understand quite how important this is. I mean, you cannot go in there and look like a slacker. I think just walking into the Joffrey School is going to be tough on these kids. They are not little Trinas. They don't take ballet class every single day, all day long. So I think it's going to be intimidating. I think they're going to be frightened. I think they're going to be nervous wreck. And I just hope their mothers are frightened and nervous and keep their mouths closed. You're going in front of people that have had great careers. You don't want to walk in there and be the big joke that they're going to laugh at when they go home tonight. Everyone feels 
on edge. We have this audition coming up and the girls do not have a lot of ballet background. There's more pressure than normal this week. And where do you think an arabesque should be? Down here where yours is? No, at least parallel to the floor. And you can't do a crash course on this. No, we're not fitting up our ballet training in for the past two years in this hour class. How did that look? Better? Mm -hmm. Keep going. This has to stop. I know, but that's why you wear a leotard that fits you correctly. Abby, is it possible that um, you could give us some ideas when we go to look for the appropriate black leotard, if there's certain types of leotards we should be looking for that complement each of their body styles? I'm not saying that we can find them, but you might stand a better you chance. You want your legs to look long and your body, your torso to look short. This is a cute outfit and she's wearing it and it's not giving her a problem. However, this would be more appropriate. Wow, yeah. Even from the side. To be honest with you, I'm not really sure what a New York City look is for a dancer. So if she has this vision, it's her responsibility to communicate that because otherwise we can't prepare them for what she has in mind. All this stuff is really taking away from her dancing and we're, it's all about selling that outfit. All of you, stop with these crazy outfits. Oh, I'm so excited! I wonder if this is a flagship store. If we can find a way to quiet Abby down, let's do it. Let's go shopping for black leotards so tomorrow we don't have to hear it. We're looking for black leos that have really high cut for kids. Now feeling a little pressured, overwhelmed. Abby wants us to get special leotards and we don't have any time in the day to do so. But that's too basic. She wants something a little more. Well, just prettier. We didn't know we were supposed so, to bring 900 okay. black leotards. I brought two. She's so particular about what fits and what doesn't and the colors. Do you think those leotards are gonna satisfy Abby? The shopping trip went well. We were able to each find a leotard for the girls. They were solid. We got our pink tights and our ballet slippers, so hopefully, Mum's the word tomorrow. You know, she's so specific about what a leotard can do for your body. Maybe they ought to ask if they have one in her size. Oh, they don't make leotards that size. <laughs> Everybody who dances for candy apples knows that they have a certain aura about them when they walk into a competition. Based on everything that I've done with Kendall, I think that she is completely ready to go up against some of Abby's dancers and audition for a scholarship to Joffrey. You know, I'm down a spectacular dancer. No, she, she feels, she feels like she broke. I put a lot of stock in Taylor, and I don't want to pressure you by any means other than to say she's got big shoes to fill. I'm really nervous to do my solos in front of ballet judges because I'm used to doing it in front of audiences and not just being in a room with judges. You have to rise to the occasion. You know, cream rises to the top. So we want to have ourselves a latte. When you step forward right away, your head's forward. Boom, boom, boom. I am so excited for my solo this week. I'm finally the Red Queen from Alice in Wonderland. And I've been waiting for this forever. Now take your hands right here and go. Chloe is doing Queen of Hearts. She really relates to the darkness, to the viciousness, to the evil aspect of playing a character that is on the dark side. And when you lunge, your head's here. Push through, look at it, change your head around. You know, when you tell a kid to be happy and smile, that's easy. But when you tell them that they have to be evil and they have to be insightful and they have to be attacking the judges, it gives them more to work with. It gives them a storyline to follow. And that's where Chloe shines. Come on, Maddie. So Maddie, it's called In My Heart. We have one day to learn it because tomorrow is the big Joffrey Ballet audition. My solo this week is a lyrical routine, and it's called In My Heart, and I really love the song and the choreography. Low, hold. This is a stellar routine for her. It has all the elements that she needs. She jumps, she turns, her transitions are lovely. It certainly is a routine that's right up Maddie's alley. 
that and go right into that from there. One, two. And you can't illusion until the pressure is on. I expect Maddie to do really well this weekend. It's hard to get to the top of the pyramid, but it's even harder to stay there. Harder to stay there. So, game on. Girls, come on. Listen up. We have two days until you are in Paramus, New Jersey, doing this competition at Starbound. I really need my girls to turn it on and turn it up. Our group number has not placed at the top for weeks, and I'm sick of it. We have a few more hours to rehearse, and they better get this perfect. Go get your dance bags, put your jazz shoes on. <sighs> yeah, we don't even have a dance bag. Go tell Miss Abby that you and Mackenzie left them on the couch. Don't start crying. I'm not in the mood today for any of this at all. So don't get upset about it. I don't care. Girls! Let's go! Come on! Her dance bags are at the hotel. Okay. Every kid makes a mistake, Maddie. OK? You're, you're not perfect. Maddie was really upset because she left her dance bag at the hotel. That's her dance bag. I mean, that's her shoes. So she was very upset, and she wasn't herself the whole day. It was my fault. Totally my fault. It's not your fault. It's her dance bag. Well, every kid makes a mistake, Abby. And you know, so it's my fault. Well, I should have checked. I don't want Maddie to make mistakes. And when you get here, no one's perfect. There's kids that are living here that are 14 and 15 years old on their own, paying their own bills. And when you guys get here, you can't call mommy. When you walk into an audition, it's your responsibility, not your mother's. It's a pair of shoes. Who cares? Maddie's on the top of the pyramid for the fifth time and Abby puts a lot of pressure on her. Maddie is such a perfectionist, um, and she's hard on herself. Maddie, stop with this face, because I'm not in the mood. <laughs> Hello, no, it's Melissa. Like, in Parenting 101, if your daughter forgets some ballet slippers, don't flip out and stress her out. It's a couple of $14.99 ballet slippers. Like, run down the street and get her a new pair. Your kid is in there. And her brain is not in her head, because in the back of her head, she's thinking about, where's my bag? What if I lost my shoes? How am I going to get them? This is about your kid having an audition tomorrow and her brain not being in her head. She's not focused on the routine. Mackenzie and Maddie left their bags in the lobby of the hotel. Now, what are we going to do? That the more your kid is on the ball, the more people expect. And that's sad, but that's the truth. We just don't have time for mistakes like this. Now Maddie's flustered, and it's costing us time that we just don't have. If the group loses again this week, I'm finished. I need you to be nasty and bitter and mean. You're playing a part. Line, I want to see those points. This Abby says for jailbirds, and that's a little scary to think about. I think you just have to set aside the jailbirds part and focus more on the dance and really getting into it and acting. Chloe, that's a grown play a second. You're not hitting that. Slow down. I think our girls are sweet girls. So I think it's going to be hard for them to be dancing behind jail bars. This is the last chance I have to work on the group number for the Starbound competition before the Joffrey audition. My girls are nowhere near being ready for this. All right, girls, listen. Tomorrow is the Joffrey Ballet audition. There's going to be other kids your age auditioning for the same Joffrey intensive. Everybody wants it, and everybody wants it bad, or they wouldn't be here. This is a big deal. I want all three of those ballet teachers to know how talented the children are from the Abby Lee Dance Company. Don't walk in there and embarrass me. At this point, I'm thinking that this group number is a hot mess. It's like a train wreck, and I'm trapped in dance jail, and I can't get out. I, I have never been so stressed out doing nothing in my life. It's like a whole week It's of stressful that. sitting there watching her, like, treat our kids like that. Oh. I think she brings out the worst of us. Absolutely. Absolutely. The way I'm looking at the audition for tomorrow, I'm not expecting to get a win it. This is a hard balance, as a, I think, as a mom, is trying to encourage your daughter 
to go out and do well, but also temper that so she's not getting her hopes up too high. I don't expect Nia to win, but I do care about the audition for my daughter because it means something to her. So I'm still trying to figure out what exactly happened with these dance bags? I swear on my life, Maddie said to her, Mom, do you have my dance bag? I think we should steal their bags. <laughs> Next time we'll steal their bags so they get in trouble. Because otherwise they, they, they will again. I've never seen them get in trouble you for anything. Dance bags. Well, yeah, Chrissy probably has it up in her room. Maybe. dancers every year audition for Joffrey's summer program. This is a big time. It's intense. You're just at the beginning of your shot. You have something to work for. The Joffrey is a huge deal, and it really, really, really could make or break somebody's career because ballet is the foundation of all other dance. Girls, remember, you're not just representing yourself. You're representing the Ivy League Dance Company. warming up in the hall, and then I hear, burr, 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 burr. girls, 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 girls. Oh, Kathy has arrived. Hi. How are you guys? Good, how are you? Good. Hi, ladies. The candy apples need to get a life and quit following the Abby Lee Dance Company around. Leave with the chest down. Up. up. Girls, if you don't know it yet, you're never going to know it. Stop voicing your opinion, because it doesn't matter here. We have every right to be at the exact same places that she is. Hi, Abby. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, thanks. Nice to see you guys here. To run into Abby, it kind of changed the mood, my mood, and Kendall's mood a little bit, but oh well. We are ready for the solos. Shoulders down, big smile, use your face. 249, please. 249, let's go. Do you have something for us? I like the piece Abby put together for my audition because it has some of my good tricks and everything. Brooke, make it look easy because that's what's impressive about you. All judges have different opinions, so they may hate tricks or they may love tricks, so I have no clue how this piece is going to go over. Are you nervous? Are you pacing? I'm very nervous. That's what I used to do. I used to throw up in a bucket outside. Yeah. Got a bucket? I think I did pretty well. I hope I get the scholarship. You jumped, you flipped, you twirled uh, a lot. But you got to tell whoever told you to shake your bum bum like that that they are a dum dum. Hey, Abby taught me how to shake my bum bum, and I shake it pretty well. What did they say? <laughs> he said, whoever taught you to shake your bum bum is a dum dum. Uh, that's your mother. Uh -uh. <laughs> think you need that much makeup in a ballet audition? It's a little over the top. All right, go get him. Good luck, Kendall. Good luck, Kendall. I think Kendall is a beautiful little dancer, and I really hope that she can come out on top and get this scholarship. I very much enjoyed the arms in the beginning of the dance. That was lovely. Very nice. This is like your forte. 
Thank you. You're good at ballet. You look like a ballerina. You have a beautiful body. I think Abby is putting a lot of pressure on Chloe and Maddie this week, and it's almost like the whole Maddie Chloe showdown once again. Go in there and own it. Okay. Okay. I'm very excited for the ballet audition. I mean, I've never done something this big before in my entire dance life. So it's every man for himself. You got something for us? Mm -hmm. Yes? All right. Take the floor. Your natural, just God-given ability is fantastic. It's wonderful. You really have something special. Just please get into more ballet classes. Would you go out there and send in number 252, Maddie? Yep. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. When they told me that they think that I need more ballet classes, which makes me a little bit nervous, thinking that maybe like I don't have enough training for the Joffrey Ballet School. I mean, you never know what the three judges could be thinking, like, oh, we want her, we don't want her. I, you never know what they want. You should be proud of yourself. Thanks. I think going up against Chloe is going to be hard because she's more of a ballerina than I am. Shoulders down, shoulders back the whole time, no pouch. I'm really nervous because we don't really do ballet that often, and we have three ballet judges. So, Maddie, you got something you can show us? Yes. All right. Thank you. You really know how to perform. Thank you. Some showmanship going on there. You could have been on Broadway, but you have to be a dancer. Throughout the whole piece, I kept wanting there to be a pause. I wanted there to be a time where you let your body finish and move all the way through something before jumping into the next movement. Uh, can you go up on Releve? Show me Releve, right? Go really high up on the Releve. Okay, those feet have more potential than what you're using right now. But you've got to work hard to do it. They said that I had great potential. Maddie came out and Maddie was not all that confident. She takes things very seriously and very much to heart. Two and three, four and five, flex at six. We all know that Kendall has had training other places. So we've just kind of tweaked out all the bad habits that she's gathered along the way. Jeez. Kathy's gotten Kendall so many things going on. That's wonderful. How have the moms been at Candy Apples, Jill? The moms are great. That's probably why I have 300 students versus 20, because I don't have a problem with embracing new customers. Kathy, how many yeah. kids have you had here at Joffrey? How many have you had, Abby? Three. I highly doubt that you've had three people here. Uh, I've had students study here in the summer every single year, and I'm not going to start to name them off because it means nothing to you. I honestly feel that the Abby Lee Miller gang think that they've got the market on any competition, any audition, anything that has to do with dance. They are nothing but trouble. And it was honestly fun just to get Abby's feathers ruffled. Good afternoon, everyone. We are ready for the dancers. All right, now if I could get number 247 over here, please. From fifth, fifth position, Tondu and close. Tondu and close. See, number 250 was popping her foot out and bringing it back. Oh, so sorry, that's your child. Kathy. Kathy, Kathy, is that what you guys can say? You're not even supposed to be watching, aren't you? The well, teacher then shouldn't stop you know that. Your head in. I what? didn't. I just turned what? around and what? looked for you. I don't see a sign that says no teachers allowed. It's just etiquette. No, no, no. You don't you know what? look in you on an audition, listen. or let alone a dance class. Take some of that tension out of the shoulders there. Lift up to the back of that neck. Pull the stomach in. Good. Work with that pudding stomach. 
bobby pins in your hair. Copy. Are you going to use them for later? Yep. Honey, I just you so want to have style, and oh, you don't. Oh, Kathy, I suggest you shut your mouth and walk away. Oh, why? Are you going to beat me up? Kathy comes in, and she talks about my manners and my etiquette, and she cannot conduct herself like a human being. And I'm trying to sit there and ignore her, but my god, it's like needles on a chalkboard. Finally, I'm just like, ah! Are you don't even know me. I can read you like a book. That you are so full of Please be gone. Oh, nice language. I know. I That's what you always you. have to. No, you didn't. Christy is being her usual self. She's jawing about something that's not suiting her fancy. Up and over to the bar. Lengthen up out of that side. Keep those stomachs strong. Kathy, let's tone it down a notch. You're at the Joffrey Ballet. A little decorum, please. And we've got Abby, who's screaming, be quiet. Yet it's her voice that you hear. Newsflash. Newsflash. There's an audition going on right behind the door. Shush. I'm not the one that's always drunk and can't take care of my kids. I'm not drunk, and I can take care of my kids. But you've always got a drink in your hand. You embarrass yourself every time you open your mouth. Pardon me one moment, please. Ladies. Thank you. Thank you. We have a ballet class in here. every time you open your mouth. Pardon me one moment, please. Ladies. Thank We're you. having a ballet class in here. Thank you. If you don't respect me and you don't respect these girls, respect don't only talk the to me. art form. You need to talk to her as you well. You just got my focus, everybody. Please. I was beyond mortified. Yes. And I was just so mad that I let Kathy get the best of me. And I, I behaved that way because I had no intentions of that. I don't want anyone to ever execute behavior like what I had to step out that door and tell the people who were responsible for you to not behave like. I'm also feeling a bit embarrassed. Kathy is completely unprofessional. She's loud, she's obnoxious, and I don't want to be around her anymore. Don't let a bad influence like that influence your lives. Our moms were really bad. It was so rude. I hope they don't embarrass me again. All right, thank you all for coming in. We will let you know. There are three judges in there. Thank you. Somebody's going to say something nice, and somebody's not. Overall, I think they did a great job. But now, we need to focus on that competition. Come on, ladies, hurry. When you got it, girls? We are the overall grand champions from the Starbound Nationals in Lake Tahoe, Nevada. Hi. Good, good, good. I'll come back and check in. I want to get them to the dressing room. Thanks. So every time we attend a Starbound, it's important that we hold on to that title and we prove ourselves time and time again. We need to be on top. OK, girls, listen to me closely. You know we're in New Jersey. We're at Starbound. You are the national champions, but I'll tell you what. A lot of these really talented studios were not at the Nationals in Lake Tahoe. So I think you have your work cut out for you today. It's tough. I mean, they're thinking about a new dance, a new routine for Starbound, and Abby never hesitates to remind the girls that you're the national champions of Starbound. It's more pressure than normal this week. Uh, where are the candles? Bunny, I'm putting you in charge of the candles, and I also have the um, blanket. Guys, can we run the number? Who's got their hair done? Almost. Almost? OK. All right, so you know, up to this point in competitions, we've kind of been doing spooky numbers. So let's just keep it really beautiful. Starbound is a huge competition. And the Abby Lee Miller Company is going to be there, as well as Candy Apple Dance Center. And we have a wonderful routine that is very heartfelt that I think that finally we may be able to take charge, possibly beat Abby with this number. Hey, good luck, everybody. Thank you. Nail it. Guys, I'm nervous. Stare at that judge. That's not a floppy foot. Point your toe. I think this dance is a mess. They're working with this jail prop, and I think that a lot of the moves that she's having them do, it's not very technical. I think our girls have way more technique than what is put in this dance. Open that attitude up. Your foot should be parallel to the ground. Abby's putting all this pressure on us that we have to win this competition because we're the national champions. Starting with number 892, small group open, ages 9 and 10. Number 892, hurt them first.
imagined my daughter ever being in a jail cell. And so I'm trying to put my feelings aside that I really don't like it, but she's a character for this piece, so I'm going with it. I love the number. I couldn't believe the acting going on there. to catch the Abby Lee dancers doing their jailhouse rock routine. It was a bad takeoff of Chicago. I couldn't tell. The dance is flat. The group number was great. They were hot, and they knew it. Judges, next up is number 870, almost ended. <laughs> Knowing what we were going to bring to the stage, we were feeling very confident. We wanted a perfect performance. number was very technical, very mature. Kendall looks like a little angel, and I really, really am excited. I love it. I'm pretty much on the edge of my seat right now. My palms are sweating and my butt's shaking, which is what happens when I get nervous. You guys ready for some awards or what? Oh, yeah. I think that Kathy might beat us. In my hands, I hold the top 10 junior groups in 10th place. You guys ready for some awards or what? Oh, yeah. And here we go. We start out small group open, ages 9 and 10, in 10th place with a score of 286. 892, heard them first, Abby Lee Dance Company. Oh, that's us. Yeah. I was very humiliated. We are the overall grand champions from the Starbound Nationals. Maybe the judges didn't get it. That's their right. That's what you get when you go to competition. Congratulations one more time to hurt them first in 10th place. Our group number came in 10th. We've never come in 10th place. Moving it kind of mortified us a little bit, but it is what it is. Moving on to 9th place. One point higher with the score of 287. 8-7-0, almost having candy apples dance. Step back up. Who helped you with this routine? Kathy Nesbitt-Stein. Remind everybody one more time what studio you're from. Candy Apples Dance Center. There it is, your ninth place junior group, almost heaven. I'm looking around, and all of the moms have these incredibly impish grins on their face. And we know, because every dog has his day, and this is our day. I'm going to Holly. I'm in my own world. I want to just go home. I can't I believe our kids didn't win. Kathy's group did not deserve to beat us. We've never, ever, ever, ever in our lives got 10th place. Kathy's dream is getting true today. Finally, they can say we beat them. That'll and they'll leave us alone. I think the uh, last time we didn't place was electricity. Uh, amen. Shocker, the group number came in 10th. Neither one of them are dancing to their potential. My kids have not danced to their potential all year long. Is this me? Yeah. Hey, congratulations. congratulations. In yes. all sincerity, we just wanted to congratulate you on 10th place. Thank you. We're proud of ourselves. Thank you. And congratulations you. on one point better. We saw. You are Satan. Bye. My entire reputation of this humiliated.
Hello? Hi, is this Christy? Yes, it is. This is Davis Robertson from the Joffrey Ballet School. How are you doing? I'm well. How are you? I want to take the time to call you personally and let you know that uh, we want to offer Chloe a scholarship for the summer. She was at the top of our list. Oh, thank uh, in, you. In oh, my gosh, that's amazing. Thank you. I think Chloe is excited to have that opportunity, but I really think that Chloe is trying hard not to show it because the other little girls in the room wanted that as well, and she didn't want to hurt anybody else's feelings. Under our direction, uh, I really do believe that she has uh, got the potential to be just a beautiful ballerina, oh. and uh, we would like to assist in making that happen. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. You are very welcome. It's hard when your child doesn't get something that they want, but that's also part of a dancer's life. It's tough. We'll be seeing you soon. Enjoy, take care. All right, take care. You're being a brat. Don't even, no, walk away from me. Please, uh, I wanna organize. Get back here right now. Get back there, now, get back here. Madison, get back here, your phone is going away. I feel really upset that Chloe got a call from the Drawfrey Ballet School. I think I kind of deserve Stop to be it. on top. Stop it, guess what, five days. 10 days now. Ooh. 10 days, Maddie can't have her phone. I know exactly how that little girl was feeling. And I know that she wants the Straffrey scholarship as much as anyone else. And I know she's thinking, my shot's out the window, it's all Chloe. Even though these girls are such good friends, they are really, really fierce competitors. Maddie? Oh Maddie, come here, I have to tell you something. Now, one more, if you don't come back here in five seconds, it's gonna be 15 days. Maddie is really stressed out because she was disappointed, but I won't put up with a brownie kid. She just needs to reach deep and down inside and just, you know, be thankful for what she has and don't you just can't worry what other people think of you can you go from the top kendall so i can take a little peek at it my Same. thought is maybe you might want to put that costume on because you're feeling that it's a little constricting and try doing the dancing i love the solo queen of hearts that kendall's going to be doing it has a lot of style to it. It has a lot of technique. It has some turns, some leaps, and I think she can really do well with it. All right, so let's see it. Oh, push, push, Gr grunting. Okay, <laughs> your butt harder. Yes, you okay, can. Don't, don't do this. Of course you can. Don't cry about it. You're gonna get your makeup on this stuff. You're gonna get all worked up, and it's not. It is totally not worth it. I couldn't really move in the costume because they didn't really fit me in it. They just sent it to me. So I really couldn't, I couldn't do anything. So I was a little nervous about that. I wasn't prepared. Oh, honey, you're prepared. That's, shh, you're prepared. You just went through the whole entire dance. You're totally prepared. There's no reason to cry, okay? There's absolutely no reason to cry. The dance is fine. It is what it is. It's about the apples being your buddies. What, honey? I know, the costume. You're just going to have to deal Two with minutes, it, Kendall. Two minutes, You're just going to have to deal with it, okay? Okay, sidebar from the restroom to the stage. Yeah. Um, it was like five, ten minutes. Oh, my God. Chloe has a 17-piece costume that I have to pin. They're at the end of their category, though, so I don't know if we can hold it. There's no way Chloe's going to be ready. ready. I can't physically do it. Abby barks and barks and barks and barks and barks at us that we need to be prepared. You need to give us enough time to be prepared. Watch that hyperextended elbow right there on that first movement. You're cleaning the floor, Maddie. We had literally 15 minutes to do hair and makeup and practice before our kids were thrown on stage. And I'm really getting sick and tired of it. Stay right here. You just keep doing what you're doing. Chloe, you look so pretty. Okay, don't panic. No panic. Judges, eye contact, suck them in right off the bat. Kendall comes out, and she's the queen of hearts. Kathy, we've been down this road before. Stop copying my daughter. 
I think that if Kendall is going to compete against Chloe, she has got to do better than her best. And I know what it takes for us to one-up her. So what we've worked out is totally gonna steal her thunder. Sitting in the audience with all the Candy Apple moms supporting me and Kendall, I just love this. I just love watching Kendall dance. And all of this drama and heartache and heartbreak, it's worth it when I see my child on stage do what she just did. Kathy is up to her underhanded tricks again, thinking it's gonna get her ahead in the competition. Off with her head. Focus. Represent. The pressure I'm feeling this week is because I'm their national winner, so I don't want to let Miss Abby down. Number 890, open, ages 9 to 10, in my heart. She doesn't care that she's gonna burn the kid out. It's not fair. They just threw you out there. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Abby's it's gonna eat me. Shh, she is not. Baby, look at me. She's gonna eat me. I've no, never done this. I've never done this. I was backstage running my number, and all of a sudden I hear the music dying down, and then I hear footsteps coming from the stage, and then I heard Maddie say that she forgot her dance. I'm a little bit nervous for my soul and all that, like from all the chaos backstage. <sighs> all I can do is cross my fingers. Sitting in the audience, I'm looking at Abby, and she's sitting over there crying hysterically. I thought you were supposed to save those tears for your pillow, Ab. Let me 
think. Mia forgot her solo, Abby didn't cry. Paige forgot her solo, Abby didn't cry. Chloe forgot her solo, Abby didn't cry. Maddie forgets her solo, it's waterworks. Abby only cares about one person, and this is a blatant display of that. Tell her how it feels, Chloe. You did it, too. And I just feel so bad, because I know exactly how it feels. We've all done it by now. Nobody's perfect. Maddie, honey, you're so hard on yourself. You have to stop this, OK? Dance isn't that important, Maddie. Yes, it is. But it's not your whole life. Well, it is your whole life, and it shouldn't be. This is way too much pressure. It's really hard when your daughter's crying, saying she's a failure, and she's nine years old. You're not a failure when you're nine years old. Not at all. And she kept saying, Abby's going to hate me. She's going to hate me. And it really breaks your heart. Abby's not going to hate you, Maddie. But I didn't even hear them announce my daughter. Well, that doesn't matter. But I'm just saying. It was I, 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 mean, but we, I don't want to make excuses. Every kid forgets no. their dance. That's not the deal. She thinks you hate her. Aw. <laughs> See, she thinks you hate her. See, I told you she doesn't hate you. Maddie, it's not your fault, honey. You are such a fabulous kid. <laughs> See, Emmy loves you, Maddie, okay? She knows what a kid you are. You know what? Those kids that have perfect runs and win everything with their kids, where are they now? They don't want to dance anymore. <laughs> Kids that still have something to shoot for and something to win. <laughs> They're the ones that are sorting. She screwed up just like everybody else. But you know what? Maybe they won't all be vultures and be after her all the time now. Girls, no, uh, 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 we're not gonna play that game. You can see her and talk to her later. We're not gonna play that game. We're not playing the game. I'm not playing the game either. But I also know that my child ran off the stage. I didn't see any tears from you, Abby, when my kid ran off the stage, OK? So point noted. It's a horrific. Care. I don't care. I know you don't care. That's my point. It's not that incredibly cruel that there is a teacher who's sitting there having a pity party for herself because her student forgot to dance on stage. And other students, every other kid in that room has had that same experience. They all could have used a dance teacher who cared about them. Awards. I'll take you down. You gotta be supportive of your friends, so. Any child being on stage and forgetting no dance is a, it's humiliating. And it's happened to all of and us. And it's happened to everyone. But there, she even said to Maddie. She they said she didn't care. for a reason. And she didn't want any excuses. She could care less. Yeah, but there was not a tear shed for another child in this company. That's my issue. These are children. And you cry for whatever reason for one child and not the other. They all hurt the same. And, and the kids know. The kids it know. It was so obvious and transparent. I've tried to deny that for many years and give Abby excuses. So I'm saying that's just the way she teaches. That's just the way she is. But today, it was like black and white. No, it's not. It's not the way she teaches for all. There's a double standard. It's a different system. It is not equal. Why don't you care that all the other kids forgot their dances, but you care for Maddie? My kids have been with you since they were two. I've been with you for 30 years, and you didn't care that Paige came off the stage and forgot her dance. She told Maddie she didn't care she forgot her dance either. She sat there and cried. Abby, for once, was speechless because she knew she was wrong. For once, someone called her on something, and she had nothing to say. Moms, it's awards. Thank you. Thank you. We're ready to go. Kendall was a star out there on that stage. She did, on that stage, exactly what we came here to do. She shined. Chloe was amazing as the Red Queen. Regal, evil, and it was technically good. Chloe deserves to win. Seventh place. Please give it up for Queen of Hearts. Kendall, come on. Yeah, I was surprised. It's difficult to compete against Abby. I would love to have seen her in the top five, but that's OK. We'll get them next time. Here come the official top three soloists. Give it up for 307 if my friends can see me now. In second place, 793 wants you back, Julia. I'm really happy.
happy that I got first overall solo. I mean, I haven't really won first in a while, so it feels really good. Who choreographs for you? Miss Abby Lee Miller. Given that Chloe is at the bottom of the pyramid this week for forgetting her number, I am so proud of her that she won. And Abby's nowhere to be seen. <laughs> Where do I go? How come you didn't come to awards? Chloe's your dancer. You should have been there to support her. I think one of the things you always tell them is that save it for your pillow in your hotel room or your bedroom. And you should model that behavior for them and sat in the front row, put your game face on. Come paddle up. me. Let's just get it over with quicker. Please, that's a visual I do not want to paddle. see. Paddle. You know? I'll, take the I'll, just tell, I'll, I'll give you my tongue lashing, because shame on you. That's what you give the girls. I have nothing to say to these moms right now. And I don't care if I hurt their feelings. They're grown adults. They can handle it. If they want their kids to be nurtured and coddled, they need to take them back to nursery school. You always say, like, you know, act professional, act professional, you know, grow up. This isn't really professional model behavior. I could not just sit there and say nothing after all my childhood experience, and as well as many of those other kids. It's not right. It just is not right. Hi. Hello. Congratulations. You should be proud Good of yourself. Good job, Everybody Chloe. here is proud of you. Thank you. Job, yeah, Chloe. you should be proud of yourself. Abby didn't say, Chloe, you were fabulous. She didn't say, like, oh, Chloe, you know, way to go. That was amazing. Nothing. It was all about Maddie. It's amazing to me. It's amazing. But there's no favoritism. Not at all. All right, guys, see you on the flip side. So Abby says very cryptically, see you on the other side, and leaves the door. Like, what's going on? And the only one in the room who doesn't seem confused is Melissa. She's going home. What do you mean she's going home? She's leaving right now. Does she really leave? This can't be real. I lost a lot of respect for Abby. I really did. Hi. one more it's just funny how all of a sudden, when things don't go Abby's way, she's running home. I think it's ridiculous you're leaving because you're embarrassed about the way you act earlier today. Yeah, Where are you, you going? Yeah. I'm going to go to the hotel, get my stuff going right to the airport. I need a break. I need a break from these moms, a break from these kids, a break from the yelling. What do you want us to tell the kids? Your kids are fine. They're great. They have been trained even as young as seven years old. They know what to do and they're fine without me. I have known Abby for a long time, and I have never seen her like this. I'm shocked. co-host of you, sitting next to Whoopi Goldberg. This is crazy, and I'm really excited about it. The kids are coming along. All right, here we are, New York City. <laughs> Remember, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. This week, we will be attending the Masters of Dance competition, and it's gonna be tough. This is our first time showing up. We will be the underdog. And Kathy, who we thought would be in Ohio, she's here in New York City. Last time she beat you, it was bad. A perfect score? That doesn't happen too often. She wants to do it again. You gonna let it happen? Now, let's get to the pyramid. On the bottom, Mackenzie. You don't dance? There's nothing to critique. And next, Nia and Asia. That wasn't a duet. It wasn't partners working together. It was you double timing everything, and it was you trying to keep up. And next I have Brooke. You do that side aerial to one knee, you're the first face that comes forward. You need 
to lock eyes with one of those judges. You need to draw them in and tell them that story. All we saw was the top of your head. And moving up, Paige. Paige, you didn't pull my focus. Not in a good way, not in a bad way. I think that's a good thing. And next, Kendall. Kendall, you've had a good run lately. This week, you flew under the radar. I'll take it any day. Kendall's third on the pyramid. I think it's great. I think that's close to where she belongs. And next, Maddie. Last week, there was 11 points between you and the next contestant. This week, there was one. You did not have your head in the game. Wake up. Taking a bite out of the Big Apple is Chloe. This is the first time Chloe's been at the top of the pyramid this entire competition season. So it really goes to show that she's back in the game and you can't count Chloe out. You stayed on your music, Chloe. You remembered the choreography. You applied the corrections. You were beautiful. Thank you. So this week at the Masters of Dance, everybody is in the group routine. Asia, you're certainly better on stage alone. You will be performing a solo. I have another solo going to Chloe. Maddie, you will also be doing a solo. I have one more routine to give out. One more solo. My last and final routine is going to Kendall. Now, Joe, you can run along up to Henry Bendo and buy me a gift. OK. <laughs> we have a lot of choreography to get through. But first things first, we need to work on the last text for The View. I've arranged for the kids to perform on The View. And we're going to do our award-winning number from the national finals, The Last Text. And Asia, you will be doing The Last Text. Mackenzie's been in the dance since the get-go. I mean, and she's fine. You know, she hasn't been dancing, and I would like her to be in it. Which, well, that's just it. She hasn't been dancing. Yeah, but I would like her to be in it. She's part of this team, and she's been here since she's three years old. I think you should give her a chance. Melissa, I need you to let me work. Understand? I think Mackenzie should be dancing on The View, for sure. She's been a part of this team since the beginning, and Asia just came. Come on, let's move over here. I want this to be on your mind first, but you know it. So we're just going to review it. Going to yell out some corrections. This is what we're going to do. Mackenzie was originally in the last text, but now I have Asia. I really don't know what's going on with Mackenzie's foot. Melissa is the one that said Mackenzie was hurt. Mackenzie's crying. Mackenzie's in pain. We went to a doctor, blah, 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 blah. And now we're here in New York City, and the kids have a chance to be on The View. Suddenly, her foot's fine, and Melissa's backpedaling again. Somebody has to hold Melissa accountable for her words, and it's going to be me. You don't want to hit your grunge tape behind Kendall. Really straighten those knees on that backhand spring. There wasn't enough energy in that arm. It's like, you can't put your hand on the floor, Paige. Melissa, who do you, what do you think is going to go on with the last text? Do you think that Asia's doing it, or do you think she's going to put Kenzie in it? I would assume that Asia's in it. I don't know. I think at this point, I think it's Asia. I'm going to talk to Abby about it. You did? Or you... I'm going to. Absolutely. I'm not going to let my, my daughter just be here and not do anything. It's not right. That little girl has been dragged around for the last three weeks, ready to dance, and she's not allowed. I'm totally backing Melissa. Mackenzie feels better. Mackenzie was in the dance. It's Mackenzie's spot. It's a no-brainer. Asia's practicing really hard, so well, why I can't they try... both be in the group? Well, I don't know. You have to ask Abby. That's Abby's call. It's not my call. It's not Asia's call. So okay. So you understand this was our national winning number. Why Mackenzie should be in it, why not we Asia. Need to have her add Kenzie to the group. Mackenzie has put her time in. But I'm not going to sit there and, and go. Asia, go tell Abby no. Whoever Abby picks, I'm fine with. But I do think that if Mackenzie is really hurt, that she shouldn't just be automatically OK because we're going on The View. 
Mackenzie, come here. I don't understand why your mom is letting Asia walk in and take over. She's had all this and all that, and everyone's loving her, and they're gonna forget about you. And your mom's just sitting out there letting this woman come from California and take over everything. Try to be overstretching your splits. Do something while you're in here. All right, now listen to me. This is a very important opportunity for your dance teacher. This is national television. This is The View, and I'm co-hosting it for the entire hour episode. I'm nervous. I am. I'm going to count on you being respectful, being well-behaved, being perfect young ladies, acting like you are professional, trained dancers. Understood? All right. We do have a group number. Mm -hmm. It's a very competitive week. It's really important, especially if it's such a if we're against those boys. boys. The boys scored a perfect score last time. Well, maybe what if she is awful. a co-host with Abby? Yeah. Abby will for a week. I would love it <laughs> if Kathy was a co-host on The View with Abby. Me oh. too. Moms and dads, come on in. Welcome to the Big Apple. First of all, I want to tell you boys, thank you so much for our clean sweep. You were awesome. Awesome. So I was very upset with Abby's demeanor and behavior towards me. You've never produced anything. She is dirt under my feet. She also said that I was a joke, a hack job. I don't have a, a nice studio. She has to lose again. My team is going to be competing at a competition, and I know that uh, the Abby Lee Dance Company is going to be here. So we are here in pursuit of another win against Abby. So first we have Nick. Nick, you were spectacular. I mean, there wasn't a dry eye at the competition. You were fabulous. Thank you. Next we have Jalen. You're in the middle, right where you need to be, in between the two two tall towers. And then we have Brandon. And at the top of the pyramid is Zach. And Zach, you are there because you were top soloist. And you are going to have a solo again this week. OK. I have brought back Anthony Burrell as hey, our guys. guest choreographer. I think he's going to show us some stuff this week that is more what Anthony has a passion for. Absolutely. Yeah. So, we are going to do a contemporary group. We are holding an open audition here today for a contemporary dancer. Ooh. Wow. The dance that Anthony has choreographed and has visioned is going to require a girl. And our team is all boys. So we're coming into New York City, and we're going to hold an open audition and look for a new dancer. So I hope that everybody's happy and pleased with what is going on, because I know that I am. Yeah! yeah. Ken's, come here. So what did Miss Abby say to you? She said, why are you letting Christy and Asa come into here and take my spot? But you're... What did you say? I'm an eight-year-old kid. What am I supposed to do? She wants you to, to go do something about it. Okay. Not me. She wants you. Okay, but what am I supposed to do about it, Kenzie? I'm going to talk to Miss Abby about it, because it's ridiculous. Okay. You're a team member. You're fine. You need to be in this dance. I have to convince Abby to let Mackenzie dance. I'm not allowing this new Christy to come in and just take over. Ab, what do I have to do to get Mackenzie to dance again? I've been very dedicated to you. I would do anything you ask this me to do. This isn't about you. I really I, have to this is a, this But this is about Mackenzie. I want her to dance, and she wants wow. to dance, Ab. Asia, come on. What do I have to do to get Mackenzie to dance again? I mean, I really think that she needs to go on The View. I just feel like you're replacing Mackenzie, and you don't want her any, on, in the group anymore. And she really wants to dance so bad. And I've been very dedicated to you. I would do anything you asked me to do. This isn't about you. She just danced like a little kid. She's like, she's, she's just eight. doing her. I gave her one older routine this season, and mm -hmm. she forgot it and stood on stage. But you, well, I think she draws eyes. I think she's too short. 
She's, and I, she's a, she's just a just foot small. shorter. I know, but she wants it. Her mother wants it. Mackenzie wants it, too. I really I, have to this see is this song. This is about Mackenzie. I want her to dance, and she wants well, to dance, Ab. Asia, come on. I'm definitely frustrated, because Abby's like, nope, Asia's here, she's going to dance. Abby has always told me that she wants my kids to stay as cute as long as they can. I don't want my daughter to be sassy on stage at age eight. Not at all. What? What happened? Did she have the courage to say something? I said to Abby, I said, Mackenzie wants to dance. She wants to dance. She says, well, you know, Mackenzie's too short. I said, Asia's the same size as Mackenzie. So what was the outcome of the conversation? She said, Asia wants it more than Mackenzie. I'm like, uh, OK. She said, you want it more for Asia. What, what am I here every freaking day? Okay, okay, but Melissa, now you're getting mad because she's saying that about Asia. But whenever she says to me, Maddie wants it more than your kids, you two look at me and say, I'm jealous. But so, about... like, how do you like it? It's hard for me that a, a stranger comes in. Yeah, and... it's hard for us, too. That's the same thing. But you have to also respect what they're feeling every week. It's hard to see my eight-year-old not dance. I'm fully on Christy and Kelly's side. Well, of course you are, because she won Asia in the No, it has nothing to do about that. If it was me, I'd put Asia and Kenzie head to head, toe to toe. So there's nothing for me to prove. auditioning for Candy Apple's Dance Center. Do you know who Candy Apple's Dance Center is? Yeah. Yo! So let me tell you something, girls. You have to be stellar. I'm the artistic director of Candy Apple's Dance Center, and this is Vivi, and she is going to be checking you out as far as stage presence. She has to be dazzled. So just go ahead and give me your name, please. Hi, I'm Kaylee. Hi, I'm Caroline, and I'm nine. Hello, I'm Maddie. Mm, I don't know if we want another Maddie. You might get nixed just because of the name. Sorry. Well, let's go. Anthony, they're all yours. All right, spread out, ladies. You're going to go reach out your hands. One, drop, two. Pancake, six. Foom, but bend your knees, yeah. Five, six, seven, and ah. Let's go. Let's move on. Let's get another Alrighty. group in here. We got to see what we got. My name's Alina. My name is Freya. Hi, I'm Hannah, and I'm 12. What's your name, Had? Hannah. Oh, Hannah! Drop your back, hands to the floor. I was on the Katie Kirk show. I made it into ABT. I danced with Mariah Carey. Wow. You have to be bigger than life, OK? Next group. Next group. Boom. Stop. Did you guys bring your resumes? Yeah. yeah. I love it. Where's the face, the emotion? <sighs> Two. The technique that we're looking for, I'm not really seeing with you guys. Nothing in that Nothing. group. Show me yourself. Be beautiful. She was good, but she wasn't like, knocked me off my seat. OK, so guys, thank you so much for coming today. Great job, though, ladies. Great job. Very nice job. This is hard work auditioning people, isn't it? I'm hungry. You're hungry also? I asked for chocolate, and we didn't get any. Vivi is like my little buddy. And I trust her because Vivi has a, has a really good insight. How's your eyes? Mm. Are they burning? Yeah, I don't know why. I don't either. Hi there. Hello. You are a dancer. Yeah. Yeah, OK. Real quickly, what I'd like to know is your name and your age. Charles, I'm 10. Are you sure you dance? Yeah. What type of dance do you do? I like to express myself while I dance. Sometimes when I get mad, I just dance and just, it calms me down. Very good. OK. All right, let's go. Dance, go. Viv, let me see who you are. Yes, let go. Let go. Be free. Be free. Express yourself. Go in, guys. I'm not seeing enough. I need face. OK, guys. OK. OK. That was inspiring, man. Thank you. Thank you. Never give up dancing, OK? From a male dancing to another. <laughs> You have something special and keep working hard, OK? Are you the only boy that's out there? Please tell me no. Yes. I said please tell me no. Asia, come here. Come here. Come over here. Come over here. This is for Abby for letting you go on the field with the team. Because you're new here, and for her to pick you to go on the team, it's very important that you show her appreciation. And I want you to sign this, and I want you to take it in there and show her your appreciation for letting you, OK? OK, go on. What's that? What's this? What's she doing? 
Just thank you card for leaving me on the team. Oh! They had littler thank you cards, but this one fit my gratitude better. Thank you. Maybe you should have had Kenzie give her one now, what's saying, the please then? let me go. <laughs> it's a big pink elephant on the front of the cart. <gasps> There's a think? pink elephant in the room. Mm, for once, it's not heavy. Thank you for letting me be on the view with the other girl. I appreciate this very nice, sweetheart. Thank you. It was a very thoughtful gift, and I really appreciate the time and the energy that she put into that gift. I still haven't decided who is going to be in the number and who isn't. The jury is still out. You might be in, you might not be in. All right, you have a solo because we need the points. You're in the mini division, and you need to win. Let's go. Asia has an amazing solo this week. It's called The Robot, and it's gonna be hard to keep her a little stiff, but we're gonna try. Ball change, Lissade Jeté. Hurry up! Your foot's tickled. All one motion. Now you're gonna push her on your left foot. No, your other left foot. What part do I come up and hold like this part? It's just like one, two. I was actually surprised Asia's doing a solo. I think it would be smarter if she would have had Brooke do a solo. You could have had solos in an older age she category, the middle age category, and the younger. How long has it been since my kids have a, had a solo? Like, they don't expect to get a solo anymore. Yeah, but I heard you say you don't I don't care. Want them to I don't care anymore. You know what, when I'm in New York, I'm gonna go and do things on my own without Abby, because obviously, Abby really could give a less about my two kids. Asia has been on our team for how many weeks, and she's had how many? Duets and solos, and that right there tells you. I'll do it myself. We can try to do the modeling thing for Paige. I would love to. Because yes. that's this isn't that a big agency scene? Preach, sister, yes, preach. There are. I'm gonna play the momager role this week. I'm in New York City. Neither one of my kids have a solo. I am gonna take them out and I'm gonna do things for them to get them ahead. Vivi, what do you think about that last group? No, I didn't really like them that much. They were terrible. I mean, the little girl in the mint, she's borderline. Yeah. Uh, and I liked Maddie only because she's experienced. Yeah. And, and, and she you had, see, you could see it. She had good ballet yeah. training. You could tell just yeah. by the way she held herself. Yeah. What do you think about the 12 year old? I think she's too big for the guy's kind of mass wise. She's very mature looking. I like the, the one that's 10 better than her. I mean, she has the facility and the information, but yeah. I think. Like, with her instrument, it's enough. The three boys that are going to be doing the group dance all have such wonderful qualities. So I'm looking for another team player that's just going to fit right in with these boys, that's going to gel immediately. So, guys, you are the finalists, which in itself, that was a big win, OK? Charles, step forward, please. You are, like, very inspirational. I want to tell you to keep up the good work, because the boys are few and far between. I got chills right now because I know, being who you are, a young little boy, you get teased and called names for doing what you do. And I was once this little kid. Wherever this leads today, continue. Continue, man. You did all did an awesome job, but we both have decided upon number... Uh -oh. All right, guys, in a straight line, please. You did all did an awesome job, but we both have decided upon number number 80516. Victoria, it was a hard decision. Victoria comes from Studio Larkin, and they have a fabulous reputation. Not only that, I think that Abby has seen them before, and it's going to be kind of fun if she recognizes Victoria, and now Victoria's on our team. All of you are very talented so and have you. something You're special. very talented. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. You. Come on, girls. Let's go. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, fan, behind, push. Back leg isn't high enough. The group dance this week is called Runaways. They end up all alone and on the streets. It's a topic that needs attention. So if you think it's bad at home, believe me, it's much worse to be cold and hungry and alone on the streets. Brooke, you're so bending your knee every time you fan. It's like you're walking through mud or water. 
push, push. Imagine trying to get down the sidewalk in New York City and all these people are rushing towards you. Push them out of the way, use your elbows. I'm really worried about the theme. It is a relevant topic. I, I think it's gonna be like the last text where it's like sending a message. Like, oh. don't text and drive. Like, that's sending a good message. Like, I don't see it as being negative. But I think it's one of those opportunities that's a great way to raise awareness and educate if it's done tastefully. I always think those are the numbers that do well. Like the children dance, and I think that was freaky when she explained to them. And it was one of their best numbers they ever did. It was. Hey, Brooke, you forgot what to do? Forgot what to do again? Now, I saw mistakes in the group routine. I saw a lot of mistakes. The girls just don't look clean, they don't look sharp, they don't look tight. They need to win. We need to go out there and beat Kathy's boys. Girls, get it together. You need to step on stage and you need to beat her. All right, that's it. Grab them, done. I can't look at them anymore. I am not reviewing one step. If you come in here and you do something wrong or you forgot something, eh, do something for yourself. The whole world does not hand you your life on a silver platter. Figure it out. Let's go, let's go get some cheesecake. So, you having fun? Yep. You ready for some cheesecake? Yeah. Hi, ladies. How are Hi, you? Good. good afternoon. Welcome to Junior's. We're actually um, here for dessert. Um, I want one with flash bailey in it. Okay. I'll just have a plain one of those then. Okay. All right, thank, thank you. you ladies. All right. Man, I'm going to tell you what. I need this break. Do you like the way we have to get around New York? No. It's hard to get a taxi, and then when, when you have to walk, your feet start to hurt. And... Yeah. What's your favorite thing so far about New York? Probably the shopping and stuff, and like... Really? The yeah. shopping? Oh, honey. Mommy's teaching you so And well. I like the pizza. Uh, I think you've had how many pieces? No, like five already. So, what do you think of Victoria? I think she, she's nice. Is she nice? Have you guys had a moment to talk? No, not really, but she seems like she's probably nice. I haven't really got to see her dance yet that much. She's cute, huh? Hmm? Yeah, she's a cute little girl. Why do you keep making I have a rabbit noses at Because my nose is stuffed up because I have a cold. Wipe it off. Go straight down. I know, I know, I know how to do that, yeah. Ladies, the yeah. dessert is here. Thank Enjoy. you so much. You're welcome. So, why do you think that you and Jalen are so close? I don't know. Do you think that he's cute? You don't think Jalen's cute? Like you wouldn't consider him like a boyfriend? Just a friend? Mm -hmm. I don't think it would hurt if you admitted that you think Jalen's pretty cute. Don't you like his swag? Do you like his dad's swag? Well, I think he's pretty doggone cute. I think that you guys make a cute couple. before I got here, but now that I'm here at the studio, I just can't wait to get out there. Okay, is that good, girls? You wanna check it out? Check it out. All right, guys, places, I need you not to pay attention to anything that's going on, but to me. The girls are gonna perform the last text. Putting choreography on live TV is difficult. We start out rehearsing the girls. All the cameramen are there, all the sound guys, they're watching the girls. They're serious about their jobs. And I love being here with all this professionalism. Five, six, seven, and Asia. <laughs> Do you see where you are? Are you in line with that first pole? Yes. You came too far downstage. You know what? Asia, come out of there. Um, you go in right now so she can see what you do. I am swapping Asia and Mackenzie out, in and out, in and out, because I want to see who's going to actually perform. All right, Mackenzie, what happened? I give you the opportunity to practice it. I want to use Asia. And now you, you do a cartwheel, you stop, 
Then you move forward and do a back handspring. What was going on? I thought I was going to fall. Thought you were going to fall off the stage. I really want Mackenzie to do it because she was part of the original award-winning number. But Melissa has to learn that she doesn't get her cake and eat it too. And Asia is just raring to go. Bigger page when it gets hit, when the car hits the impact, you need to levitate out of that car. Like if you if the seatbelt was be, would be holding you in, you need to boom. It's it's bigger. Like get your butt up out of the seat almost. Go. Shh. Paige, you're doing this. If the wheel's there. Don't, don't. Bigger, sharper. I'm embarrassed as a teacher. I'm sitting over here, and it's like I'm humiliated. I mean, come on. This is the view. All right, let's go, guys. Asia's fine, but she did practice it. But you keep going back and forth with Abby about getting Kinsey in the dance. And yeah, I think should. I'm huh? sticking up for my kid. Right, but I'm sticking up for mine too. Because That's fine. she's mature you. enough to understand, but also it keeps being an issue in, in her face. And then you have Jill chiming in and everyone chiming in. That is what's not fair. I have Melissa here crying about McKinsey going on. Asia is fine with whatever, but let's just get over with and let's just say who's going on stage so I don't have the peanut gallery here in the corner talking madness on Asian. Didn't you already talk to Abby? At you, the studio. Because you were really upset, and now you're like, kind of. I'm, dee -dee 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 -dee. Like, I'm still Millie. upset. No, you're I'm not. not going to do it in front. My kids are here, Christy, and we're on The View. So I we're know. happy to be on The View. OK, if Mackenzie's not in it, Mackenzie's not in it, OK? No, but I think that you I know I want Mackenzie. I do but not I think know. you know. No, I don't. I think you do know, Melissa. I don't know. But why don't you ever just sit, like? Because I don't know that okay. if Mackenzie's in it or not. Okay. I want her in it. She's been on this team for years. No, nobody's she's saying been here that. For well, three, call, she's what I'm calling you out on I is don't the fact know. that you always do stuff behind everybody's no, back. Oh, oh. You do. Okay. You do. She doesn't know, and neither do I. OK. That's well, what she told Well, I just wish that you would stop going, OK, Abby is Why? Gonna... Because she's my but daughter. You know what? I then have you know to fight for my you... daughter. It's like this whole big charade about this foot. All I keep hearing is about this foot. And I'm like, OK. I'm not so bringing now it up. We're on. The foot's done. Let Abby pick and be done with it. Let it die. Unfortunately, Melissa dug herself a hole. Melissa said from the very beginning that McKenzie was injured. And how Melissa initially framed it sounded like we didn't know when Mackenzie was going to be well enough to dance again. It was like an indefinite injury. I think the point is, is that Melissa is the one who made such a big deal about the foot and she couldn't do it if it was competing against Asia in a competition. Now that it's for the view, all of a sudden Mackenzie's miraculously back no. all the oh, time. Please, that you're the give me a f break. I wanted Mackenzie to dance last week, Christy. OK. Melissa, it's an overuse injury, Christy. Okay. Get it. It's not a broken I bone. get it, but you're the one who made it into a huge thing. I mean, what else am I supposed to do? I mean, I want I my daughter to dance, daughter and I'm sorry. Not. But she's, you know, she's on the team. I want her to dance. I want Mackenzie to dance. She's ready to dance. When we're in our hotel room, all she does is dance and practice and stretch. She is ready. Careful, that's Melissa. That's you're a, acting like a, a jealous mom. No, that's a clue. Yeah. No, I'm just what saying. Kind of clue was that? No, she doesn't uh, she like likes that it's like happening to somebody else. Because yeah. I'm trying to explain, but you don't let me talk. Yeah, I'm telling well, you, you need to be clear loves, because I'm talking. She loves, talks, so I can understand you. I'm not talking. Woohoo! Perfect person. Christy, look at you. Whoa. Perfect person. I was just fabulous. Just, thank you. I want to be like that when I grow up. She looks great. Who's going to be in the dance? I'm not sure yet if Asia or Mackenzie are doing the dance. Mackenzie already got to do it, and she's been hurt. And it's, you know, I'm kind of getting that she was hurt because she didn't want to go up against Asia. So I need to go. I need to get into hair and makeup. That's show business, ladies. Have them ready. Okay. okay. There they are, the Hello, stars ladies. of the day. Abby said the next time she comes in here, she wants you dressed Kent. and ready, so be nice and warmed up. For the most part, Melissa is very guarded and not letting you see how upset she is that Asia is basically taking over Mackenzie's role. I mean, I think there's a perception that <gasps> Mackenzie's space or her place on the team is a little threatened by Asia. Oh, don't, don't do that again, Kenz. No more doing that, OK? Just leave it. This is life. It's not always fair, right? So 
whatever she decides, we're gonna go with it. If you're not in the dance, you, I know you're mature enough to understand. You know, most likely you're not gonna be in the dance, okay? So don't get upset. No pouting, no crying, okay? That's how it is, right? Okay, so you just watch and be happy and hope the group does really well if you're in it. It is what it is. Sherry's going to talk about a shout out to her ex husband complimenting him, huh? uh, which we talked about in Hot Topic. Yeah, and then I, I get the last word there. Huh? You love that. I love that. Post to service fashion. Co hosting The View is huge. I mean, I'm a dance teacher from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and here I am dealing with Oscar winner Whoopi Goldberg. This is crazy. Today, our guest co host week continues was Abby Lee Miller. The fake smile's killing me. No, I More told questions. you, I told you she will be on her best charming behavior. She'll be on cloud nine. <laughs> Abby, um, listen, you're thought to be a, a tough teacher. I am tough. I think that there's a way to coach and there's a way not to coach. I don't think you can necessarily break a kid on field if they feel supported at home, right? There's a child and I could say, honey, when your foot comes through Sir Le Coup de Pied into passe, you need to open your hip and tuck your derriere under one time, very nicely, it's fixed. Another kid, you have to yell until you're you blue in the face. I'm a little surprised. It seems as though that most of the hosts really like Abby. Like, she has a fan club on The View. All right, girls, we're ready for you. Okay, okay. okay bridge away, bridge away. I will. Do what you gotta do. It's your moment. You're on national TV. Make it count. Make it count. Millions are watching. <laughs> Who's gonna dance? Asia McKinsey. I have no idea. Ready, ladies? Ready, girls? Shoulder sound, long legs. So, uh, Elizabeth leads dance performance, and then you and all the hosts will come in at the end and say goodbye. The girls look great. They're serious. They're acting like seasoned professionals. I'm thrilled with their behavior. All right. <laughs> this is my decision. You are going to do the number. You are coming out with me at the end. Understand? Yes. The next time you're hurt, I go to the doctor with you. Understood? Yes. Because I think your mother is lying. Let's go. I put Mackenzie in the last text because three different times I told Asia where she needed to fall. She kept doing it wrong. Wrong? Get you tossed out. Here to perform the last text, please welcome the dance troupe from the Abby Lee Dance Company. When Mackenzie pops up from behind the seat in the last text, all is well in Melissa's little world. Look at her foot. Did you see her foot up? Uh -huh. yeah. I never noticed I never her doing that before. Somewhere. Personally, I knew this was going to happen, but Abby's going to go ahead and take loyalty over talent. That's fine. I'm not surprised that Mackenzie ended up doing this dance at all. I think that Abby knew all week of who she was going to have to do this dance. As soon as I did my cartwheel over the seat, I was like, I'm back. <laughs> Co-hosting The View. That's a dream come true. But right now, I only have one thing on my mind, and that's beating Kathy. This group number is going to be stupendous. Yeah. I think that the girl that we chose, yeah, she, she, she's, she's, she's going to be perfect for what we want what her we to be. Yeah. Yeah. With the fact that Abby has seen my all-boy team for the past couple competitions, I think that bringing in somebody that has the qualities that Victoria has is definitely going to throw them for a loop. Well, listen, um, you know, yesterday I had an audition. So I needed somebody that was really going to enhance you. So we found a girl. 
You know, I like to do the unexpected when it comes to Abby. She's going to think because of last time when we did so amazing that we're going to have all boys. So now we bring in this girl that she doesn't know who the girl is. Hi. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Are you tough? Because oh, yeah. you got to be tough yeah. to be on this day. We don't, yes. we don't take no mess. They're expecting the all boys, and here we're going to come in with this beautiful girl who is not only beautiful, but a great dancer. And, and it's probably going to rock their world. Saying, you unfold, you unfold, you unfold, you unfold. Six, arch back. Arch back. seven, and uh, eight. Lay back, Brandon. Put your head on her. The Day of the Dead happens after Halloween, and it's a Mexican holiday. And it's a very jubilant time with lots of garish face painting, lots of over-the-top costuming. So I think that this theme is a good thing for us, and it's going to be a lot of fun to take to the stage. So guys, I don't think it was clear. It's like Zach five, is pushing it. Six. You're going like this. Five, six. Then you're doing seven and uh, eight. OK? That wasn't completely clear. It is clear. You just got to open your mind and brain <gasps> and stop being so closed-minded. Easy, and so six, easy, seven, lid. eight, and. Victoria is a technically sound dancer, and she's very pliable with the boys. The boys are having a very easy time with her in partnering. How are you feeling, Victoria? Comfortable? Good. Boys, it's a match. Yeah. It's a match made in heaven. Hey, hey. Hi. Hi. She is. Hello. Good job. Oh, and you're all in a good mood because Mackenzie danced, and I told yeah, her. thank you. The next time either one of your kids go to the doctor, I'm going, because I think you're lying to me. I'm not. Wow. That's just, I'm just saying. Oh, hey! <laughs> Good job! You guys are oh, so she, she, she asked me to tell you not to listen to me. Great. Go tell Abby. You're tired. I see somebody yawning. No, I'm not tired. Since four. I've been up since Of course, Ace is not tired. I'm never tired. She isn't. She's ready to go. There's nothing wrong with a little healthy competition. Yes, you should want to turn like Asia, and you should want to do your acro tricks like Mackenzie. That's, that's the way it has to be, you know? She just got off being in a major competition show, and she lives in California. There's a million opportunities for her to do, so you need to learn from that and take that, yes? She's a very mature seven-year-old. All right, girls, great part of the day, but it's over. It's another thing on your resume. Excellent. But now, we need to concentrate on the competition this weekend. Let's get focused, get ready, review what you had yesterday so you're ready to go on. I told you before, I'm not going backwards. I'm not correcting things you learned yesterday. We need to move ahead. Oh my God. My passport case is missing with my passport, my driver's license, and every credit card that I have. After I leave, I check the whole car. Yeah. I don't know. My passport case is officially gone. It is not in any of the bags. I've looked in them a hundred times. I've ripped them open, I've dumped them out, I've done everything, and they're not there. I, I just don't know what to do. Thank you. The whole team is here in Australia to perform at the Astra Awards which is equivalent to the Emmys. We are told that anybody who is anybody in the entertainment industry will be here at the Astra Awards. Hi, in Australia. So excited to be here. This is fabulous. What a great opportunity for our children. All the girls are here. All the moms are here. One person is missing. Hi, we got here. We're in Australia. Yay! 
Hey. We're here, but what's going on with you? Melissa? I took my passport case with my passport and my driver's license and all my credit cards and all my debit cards to the bank, and I came out of the bank. I must have dropped it in the parking lot. Did you go to the bank to see if they have your passport at the bank? I'm going to reach through the phone and choke you. Yes, of course. That's the first place I went. Well, I'm, I'm just asking because I'm just I know that people always ask. They go, oh, where did you lose it? Well, if I knew where I lost it, I'd just go get it. It wouldn't be lost. So when do you think you will get here, Abby? What's the best case scenario? When will you be here? Thursday morning. Really, Abby, you're not arriving until Thursday. That's the day of the Astra Awards. Here she is expecting our girls to be perfect and she can't even get her butt to Australia on time. She's leaving us in the lurch. You guys don't realize what a big deal this is. This is like compared to the Emmys in the States. Being that I'm not there, uh, you know, maybe it's better to just have Maddie do it. But I thought all the kids were invited to do it. I think all the kids are invited to do yeah. it. All the kids are. Show me your invitation. Well, where's Maddie's invitation? I don't have an invitation. Well, I know. That's our point. Abby. Oh, I do. I have the email. Abby hasn't even stepped foot in Australia, but yet we're already on the wrong foot. I don't know why Abby's making this executive decision. She's not even here about only having Maddie perform at the Astro Awards. We don't need to be divisive on day one. Your team is here. You're not. There's no reason to have an adversarial relationship. Well, Holly, adversarial or not, I'm not putting up with your anymore. That's the way it's going to be. After the conclusion of this Astro Awards, we are also performing in our own private events. And I personally invited Kalani, Maddie, Mackenzie, and Kendall to go to Australia. I did not invite Holly, Nia, Jess, or JoJo. Since they decided to tag along, well, that's their problem. I have no plans for them. You know what, Melissa? Don't call me anymore when you're in the presence of Heathen. I have to take another call. Does this feel a little like deja vu back in LA when a certain someone wasn't there? First one. Okay. If this Australia trip is any indication of our experience in LA, I'm not sure I even want to go. You know what? No. We need to make the best of our trip. She's not here. It's okay. Not We're coming for a holiday. <laughs> Let's go I'm check into go. the hotel. Nobody can bring us down today. Let's go. We're here in Australia. The girls are here, ready to perform. We need to stay focused. If Abby doesn't show up, that's her dumb fault. Holly, do you have anything planned while you're here? <laughs> no, I definitely want to do something related to her music. Since Nia won't be part of Abby's private events, I invited Mikey Minden, who produced Nia's music video, to Australia. And Mikey is thinking of a concert that Nia can put on in Melbourne but I'm not quite ready to tell the moms yet that he's coming. Jess, are you planning on doing anything Nothing. while we're doing our events? Nope. <laughs> I'm just going to enjoy Australia. Yep. I, I will tell you, I tried to do stuff, and there's a lot of negative stuff right now, and my advice was to stay out of it. There's a petition here to revoke Abby's visa. The dance community here does not agree with Abby's teaching methods, and after the Astro Awards, I think it's better not to have JoJo associated with what Abby's doing in Australia. The dance community here doesn't want Abby here. Abby's behavior definitely dictates the bad press. I don't feel sorry for Abby. I really don't. I think, honestly, Abby's brought on a lot of this bad press on her own. I have a serious email from good dance people that say there's a lot of negativity being thrown around. And she said I was lucky that JoJo's name was not a part of it. Like, it's very serious. His name was a part of it. Well, not mine and not hers. Oh, they had names? They uh -huh. named our kids? Uh -huh. and they named everyone. See, Jess, uh, see, you want your cake and you want to eat it, too, because you don't want, you want to be associated with Abby when it's all this fun, good stuff. And when it's something negative, oh, my kid's name wasn't on there. Like, I wasn't invited fair. to do your events. I didn't even have the, have the opportunity to say yes or no, right, I just so that. you know that. Jess, do you want to be here or not want to be here? Because if you don't, I guess just get off the bus. Take your. Oh, hi. hi. How's rehearsal coming it's along? It's good. I actually.
actually just started. Oh. So I'm hoping to get it all done today. So then tomorrow we can just clean and perfect it. Have you heard anything more from Abby? Like I talked to her when I ran up to my room for three seconds, and she just kind of gave me what she wanted with the routine. Abby ultimately decided to let all the girls perform because it's such a great opportunity in a huge venue. She's worked out the creative, but it's up to me to do the choreography because she's not here. It's called Bulletproof, baby. Maddie's the lead, and then the girls are back up behind her. And it's just about the girls being bulletproof. And you can be knocked down by words and this and that, but these girls aren't going to be. Oh, I love yeah. that. Yeah. You're resilient. Yeah. The title for this week's performance, Bulletproof Baby, is basically a reflection of Abby's bad press. I think Abby's making a statement to everyone. I'm not going anywhere. It's easy for Abby to make that statement. We're here in Australia, and she is nowhere to be found. Oh, it's Abby. What, is it ready? It's Abby. Hi, Ab. I need to know what's going on. They're working on the dance right now. The girls need to realize that this could make or break them. You know, if they want a great reputation in Australia, it's going to be by this huh? show. If I ever want a franchise there, if I want to start my own dance competition, I want people to say, oh my god, her kids perform at the Astro Awards. This is a big deal. Ab, you know that Jess had seen some bad press naming the moms, you, the kids specifically. Well, Jess, maybe when you learn a little bit more about show business, you'll understand that any press is good press when they spell your name right. You keep telling yourself that. You know, Abby can think whatever she wants about this bad press, but eventually it's going to bite her oversized butt. Why would you two let some big blonde bimbo that can't even have her own dance studio successful talking about my bad press? You know what, Chad? We don't really need five dancers because it throws the numbers off since Maddie's featured. I need two on each side. So why don't you do whatever you need to do? And we won't count on JoJo. Well, I think JoJo's already in the number. I don't think you're taking her out of the number. OK, you want to crawl up my ass a little bit more in front of your kid and teach her that? What? You want to crawl up my ass and teach your kid how to kiss it a little bit better. I think that's a little inappropriate. All your dancers are in here, Abby. They can all hear you. Well, that's OK. I think your daughter should know that's what you do. A teacher should never say anything like that. It's awful. I, I felt really bad all day that I wasn't there and that I was letting everyone down. And now, in the last 10 minutes, I am so glad I'm not there. She should have stopped before she said that. Abby is actually getting worse. And I know that's hard to believe. To be so blatantly disrespectful to the moms in front of their daughters is absolutely, to me, egregious. I cannot imagine any leader doing that. I think she might as well just stay home. Why don't you get the light out of my face? Oh, oh that's beautiful. Oh, that's All right, who's going to make a toast? To the land down under? Australia. Australia. We're in Sydney, so all the girls can perform at the Astro Awards. It's a huge opportunity for the girls but Abby has lost her passport. She's not here yet. Hopefully, we can make the best out of the situation until Abby gets here, if she gets here. Abby, uh, she just she just goes there all the time to that negative dark place. You know, we're trying to find out what's going on, what's the plan. G's working with the kids, and she just kind of has to put a damper on things. She's not even Missed here. Her flight isn't here. We didn't do that, and our no. kids, our kids would be reamed. If our kids would lose something, they would have oh been so much. Can you imagine? God. And I thought Abby was comical today when she said, "Oh, bad press is better than no press," or whatever. I'm like, Abby was flipping out at the beginning of the competition season when she was getting all that bad press, and she was running away from her own studio. I have to make a phone call, guys. I'm sorry. The news is in my house. We have to fight back. Abby has a tendency when she's afraid of something, she avoids the situation. I think she doesn't want to get her any sooner than she has to because she doesn't want to be accountable to any of the bad press. So how ironic that she doesn't have a passport to come to Australia. What would you do in my situation? Well, I mean, what state were you born in? Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. 
the only thing you can do, I can give you a contact number from Pennsylvania. You can call them and have them to send you a, a birth certificate. S send it like they can fax it? No, no fax. It has to be original. You can't take a photocopy. Okay, so there's no other way to get a state ID, not a driver's license, just an identification card. We have to have a birth certificate or pass Okay, I don't know what to do. So JoJo said to me, um, Mom, they must have been talking about me in Ireland. There's a lot of stuff on the internet about it. I wake up to all these emails of, did you see the video? Did you see the video? And here it is a video of the ALDC girls making fun of JoJo while they're in Ireland. I am completely shocked and mortified that these girls would do this to JoJo and that their moms or Abby didn't put a stop to it. Did you think it was innocent? I, I don't know. I, as a teacher, I don't think it's so cute. But it was they innocent. They never said anything that they hadn't already said to JoJo to her face. Kara is one of the worst moms I know. It doesn't surprise me at all that she's standing by what Kalani said. I mean, when we first came to the ALDC, Kira was making fun of JoJo. And oh, I got these for free, and I got these for free, and I got these for free. Has she told everyone she gets stuff for free? Yes. Does everyone at this Has table get stuff she... for free? Yes. Do they all Not announce the it? Not the no. point, Jeff. Okay. You she... hide it. We don't hide it. Does... No, I can make exactly. Money. So they say that. So okay. that's what they said. Okay. True. Fact. They stated a fact. Now, how did they say it, Kira? Yeah. Did they say it like you said it when no. you were mimicking JoJo? So they learned it from you. I get this for free and this for free. They were making fun of her. They said it they the were way making she said fun it. of her. I don't no, think I they made fun of JoJo. I think they were stating facts. They were they were in the moment. They were getting the crowd. So you're to... just gonna defend your kids no yes, matter what. I, no, Even if they do nope, something wrong, you're nope, just gonna fight nope, tooth and nail for them. Actually, I'm the first one not to defend oh, my kids. You're kid. the first one to not give a <laughs> Yes, I know that. The world's an ugly place. Our girls weren't making fun of JoJo to be mean. This is what the girls do to each other. They're always teasing each other. They would never hurt one another. It's not a mean girl thing. It's just a kid thing, for goodness sakes. No lemon Thank race. you. I needed that. Based on Abby's reputation in Australia, after the Astro Awards, I plan on keeping my distance and just doing my own thing. All right, now that Maddie's not here, there's nobody in front of you. There's nobody right on the count every time. So that means you guys all have to be, OK? Nobody to watch, just you guys. This is a big deal. Ready? The girls are performing at the Astro Awards tomorrow. So these girls really need to pull it together. But Maddie's missing rehearsal to do an interview in place of Abby. Let's all remember this when our kids have to miss a rehearsal and Abby rips them a new one. I think it's interesting, the, the pressure that Abby and Gia have said, this is like the American Grammys and what an opportunity, and it can make or break you. But yet Abby pulls Maddie out of it. The funny thing is, too, is I don't know that they had specifically said, tailor the number around Maddie. A lot of these dance industry people, they've already seen what Maddie can do. They've seen Maddie. So the fact that she's highlighting her, they're like, oh, they're going to pay attention to the background dancers more than they, they will Matt. Been there, seen that, done that. Like, and she does the same thing. She's not showing any growth, any, no, no. anything. She's plateaued. Past. You think? Oh, because, God. well, the thing is, no, she's plateaued because nobody's allowing her to grow. to grow. Because they're doing the same thing over and over and over See and over and over again. I think That's she's growing out, out yeah. outside of yeah. dance. I don't think Maddie has plateaued at all. So what if Abby has put Maddie in a box? Look what that kid has done. Everybody around the world knows her, and every child wants to be her. Maddie and I are on our way to Channel 9 to fill in for Abby. It's really nice to be able to spend some time with just Maddie and I, and we're just talking about things that are going on in Australia. So yesterday, Jess showed us a video that somebody put up online at one of our events. The girls were asked about JoJo and if you all liked her, and everyone was kind of making fun of her. 
I did say that she was loud sometimes, but, and I feel really bad because I didn't, never want to hurt anybody's feelings. I mean, she is loud, and but that's just how she is. That's her personality. I'll probably just tell her that, you know, I'm obviously really sorry, and I never meant to hurt her in that way. My plan to just apologize to JoJo would just to be to tell her I love her so much, and she's a great asset to our team, and I mean, we love her like one of my sisters. So on the interview today, what do you want to talk about to Australia? Obviously, the tour that we're going on and the Astro Awards. And even though there's a lot of bad things happening and not so many people like us here anymore. No, don't say that, Maddie. And don't say that in the interview today I at won't. all. Because that's not for kids. Because it has nothing to do with you. I know, but I feel like it does because we're part of the life. Well, you are part of it, but. If someone does ask her about any bad press, she's very good about it, and she can handle herself. Thank you. I went to go to the airport with all my bags, and go in, reach in my purse to get out my stuff to hand to the girl for my ticket. Nothing. I'm dumping my purse out, freaking out. And it was like, oh my god, oh my god, because then it's on my credit cards, too. So it's been a nightmare. So we're going to take care of this for you. I might make it. Yeah, so we'll do everything for you. Thank you very much, and thank you for being kind. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh I love this oh, weather. Oh, oh, my God. Astro Awards are only one day away. I think the girls are prepared. However, we need Abby here before the girls go on stage. Our girls can't make a fool of themselves in front of the entire community in Australia. So do you think Abby's going to make it? She's going to have to be on a flight soon. She has to be on a flight tonight in order to be here by tomorrow. Right. And no one's heard from her. We really, truly have no idea if Abby's going to show up here in Australia. So do you think Maddie's good with, like, missing the rehearsal and learning the dance quick in the dressing room? And do you think that was any big deal for her? No. These girls have been working so hard to prepare for the Astro Awards. And Melissa's acting like it's not a big deal that Maddie missed practice. Our kids are the background dancers, and they're the ones that are putting all the work in. Do you get, like, frustrated that Abby doesn't challenge her or give her anything or give her any more of her? What do you mean? This is the whole group. Right, I'm just saying, like, with Maddie. No. Well, Abby I think what her. Jess is getting at is earlier, Kira had said that Maddie, what, what were the word? what, how no, did you I say? I said that her, like, she's not she's able not to growing grow as a dancer. because she's doing the same oh, turns. Oh, I think Maddie's growing quite well her... as a dancer, thank you. But she's doing the same turns that she's done since she was, like, forever. I'm not gonna badmouth Maddie's teacher, so. It's not badmouthing Maddie's teacher. Mm, kinda, yeah. The other moms think that Maddie is not being challenged, but I disagree with them. She's being challenged every week. It doesn't matter if we do a lot of the same things. You still have to do them well. I can't help but that my daughter gets picked to be the lead in a dance. Maddie's a leader, and everyone knows that. One of you said that you thought Maddie had plateaued. That's really nice that you talked trash about my daughter when I was that, here. No, I don't think the word was plateaued as far as a like, dancer. It was, Maddie's just starting her career. How, like, Yes, but it was just saying. It was a. It was more of a. She's big now, and she. It's great, and that's amazing. And what you do with it now is either going to go further or it'll stop. When it comes to Maddie, Melissa has blinders on. As a dancer, you never want to plateau. You always want to continue to grow, and you never want anyone to hold you back. Melissa just doesn't seem to care. The stage is so big, and I'm so excited because I think it's the biggest audience we're ever going to perform at as a group together. I've definitely performed at big stages, but not with my team, so it's going to be great to do it together. So if the girls can end here and then can exit stage left, okay. that would be great. OK. Guys, beginning pose, please. At this point, we are only one day away from the Astro Awards, and I don't even know if Abby's going to make it. Can I have one of these? Pink and white things here? Of course. Freeze. JoJo, you and Kendall with the spacing today, I don't know what's going on. There's no screw-ups. There's no mess-ups. You can't just be in the wrong spot. That's not a thing. There we go. 
Don't move. Hi, Ab. Gia's right here. Perfect. Hi, Ab. Warning, I'm about to slip my wrist with this day. Think big. It can't be little, tiny movements. They need to be big movements. Like a, a jump needs to be like, run, run, Lisa, leave. It has to be big. Even with Abby halfway across the world, she's still trying to control every aspect of this dance. She's second-guessing everything without even having seen it. Abby's stress level is only putting more pressure on me and the girls. I've got this covered. Uh, girls, let's run it through from your first mark. Find your lines. The ALDC has to do well in Australia because our next stop is LA, and we want to make a huge mark there. After we talked yesterday about the negative press, it's nice that people get to see the girls in this kind of light because they're doing something so positive. Yes. And I think it's important because people, I think in their efforts to probably tear down Abby, they're trying to go after the girls. So we have to, as much as we can, continue to promote what they do and have the public see them in a light that's positive. I like the theme for this week's group dance. I think the theme Bulletproof will serve our girls well. It's not just Abby that has to be resilient when it comes to negative press. Our girls, if they're going to stay in the entertainment or dance industry, also have to develop a thick skin and rise above any kind of obstacles or challenge. OK. OK. Good ladies and girls, my name is Andrew. I'm the CEO of Astra. Hi, Andrew. Thank you for fitting us into your schedule. Oh, my gosh, thank you for having us. We're very glad to have you. And we're going to have lots of um, pretty influential Australian uh, media executives, a lot of uh, presenters from different shows across Australian television. These kids need to be at the top of their game. If all these people are somebody out here watching them, they need to be their best. I just landed in Australia, and I am thrilled that my feet are standing on Australian soil. I didn't think I was going to make it here. I'm exhausted, but I am really happy to be here finally. The Astro Awards are tonight, and I haven't even seen the dance yet. I haven't seen my kids do it. There's a lot of work to be done. Hey! Oh, fabulous. Where are you going? Well, uh, I'm going to an award show. <laughs> Abby definitely pulled off the impossible. She didn't even have an original birth certificate. May I sit in the front? Let me get in first. Oh, it's on the other side. If you want to oh, get... that's right. <laughs> the other moms didn't think that Abby was going to show up in Australia. I knew she was coming. The um, group dance got finished yesterday, which was great. But she did it within just a few hours. Does Maddie start, like, center up stage dark in um, darkness, or no? No, they all come out together, like in a clump or something. Okay. Okay. half an hour to shower, do my hair, put my makeup on. The last thing I want to deal with is a bunch of moms in my room. They should know better. Good party. Yeah. Welcome to Australia. I'm a little bit shocked that Abby has found her way here to Australia in time for the Astra Awards. I should have known she was not going to miss this for anything. The girls are good? They're great. They've been rehearsing. The girls are great. Good, good. I'm so thrilled that our kids get this opportunity. Right. Well, speaking of opportunities, Abby, Nia is going to be doing something in Melbourne. She's had a performance of her song. I want to be as proactive as possible when it comes to working with Abby. So since Abby has just arrived, now's the perfect time for me to tell her Nia's going to be putting on a performance while she's here in Australia. And knowing Abby, I don't know what to expect. So just wanted to let you know, I don't have all the details yet. I think Holly was trying to catch Abby off guard so it wasn't a big blowout. And what better way than to ambush her in her hotel room? They will not announce the Abby Lee Dance Company, correct? She's not dancing for, for as part of Abby Lee Dance Company, so it has to do with her music. It's like she has that much contempt for my daughter that she doesn't want her to even reference that she's a member of the Abby Lee Dance Company. OK, that's fine. I think I understand where we're coming from. 
So she's working with Mikey Minden. So. Is it during one of our events, or is it on I a don't know. Event? I don't have the details yet. So, of course, if it's not, everyone's invited. The girls, you, the Abby, of course. Wondering. But anything I do outside of the ALDC, I will not use your, your name, even though that's biographical record. Holly seemed to learn a lot for those few weeks she stayed in LA. She seems like she knows everything. Every agent, every music producer, every this, every that. Maybe you don't need Abby anymore. I'd love to entertain you all day, but I have to get ready. See you in a little bit. I'm really nervous going into our last rehearsal for the Astra Awards. Abby hasn't seen the piece yet, and I don't know if this is what she's looking for. Hi, Ab. Hi, baby. How are you? Wait, I want to. How are you doing? Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, I'm OK. You oh, made it. Yeah. How are you doing? She's an idiot. Seriously. You're in Australia. You're meeting people from a TV network, and you show up in curlers. You look like an idiot. She literally is wearing the same clothes she was wearing. I'm not gonna, I'm she put a freaking bracelet on and six in her hair. <laughs> this is gonna be the first time I actually see the kids dancing. And they need to represent the Abby Lee Dance Company to the best of their ability, to the best of my ability. So I wanna make sure that everything is perfect, and if I need to change things, it's now or never. That has to roll right through. From where I was sitting, watching the girls, I thought they looked amazing. I don't know what Abby's gonna think, but we're down to the wire. We don't have time for changes. This has to be good enough for Abby. Uh, do you think JoJo's late, like, three times, or no? Yeah, she was told that twice yesterday already. OK. You're, you're late. Maddie, your corrections. When you're on this piece up here, you really need to look backwards over your shoulder and take the crown with you to the switch jeté. Nia, twice, twice. You're rolling down to the floor on one section. You're completely flexing your foot. Why does she have to do this? And it was fabulous. It's not just important that we do well on this Australia trip. It's vital. We have to start this trip out right. The Australian tour is the only pit stop we have before we hit LA. I want this to be the best performance ever. They have to knock one out of the park here. Or let's say, win an Astra with this performance. Maddie, that's gonna be a really big shot right there. So you need to you need to swallow and not break. You have to be perfect. All right, let's go. to have the girls in the dressing room getting ready for the red carpet event. This is their first red carpet event in Australia. I mean, this is basically their debut to the Australian media. And right after the red carpet event, the girls have to get on stage and get ready for their performance. So there's a lot of hustle and bustle. Girls, this is uh, a great opportunity for you all to be on the red carpet. We're here at the Astro Awards in Australia, which is a huge honor. They know Sia. They know the success of the Chandelier video featuring Maddie. And they wanted her to perform. But as a manager to some of you, I said, oh, yeah, of course she's going to be there. Of course she'll perform. But my other girls are in town, too. And I would prefer that they all danced. Are we ready? You guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> and a kid. Well, welcome to Australia. Dance Moms had such a huge following. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? I think it's because of the huge number of dancers that you have mm -hmm. and amazing dance teachers, which is most important. Um, Maddie, what was it like working with Dee? It's like blown up, so crazy. It was amazing getting to work with such a big celebrity like her. Being on the red carpet is amazing. It's my first time being at a red carpet in Australia, but it kind of feels like it's all about Maddie. 
Nia, congratulations. You've got a song out at the moment. How's it going and what's it called? It's called Star in Your Own Life, and I am so excited to be here right now because it got pretty high up on the charts here. After hearing about Maddie and Sia for the last 30 minutes, I finally get to hear something about my music video. <laughs> this is so exciting. Girls, it's so good to see you here. Can't wait to see you on stage. I wish you were there tomorrow because you are a part of the ALDC. Starting tomorrow, Abby scheduled several private events that she only invited Maddie, Mackenzie, Kendall, and Kalani to. Honestly, after tonight, there's no reason for Jess and Holly to be here. I just want to tell you, don't show up tomorrow. But any of our events, it's going to be really not good. I don't want trouble. I want to go on record. You I will never go someplace where I am not invited or not wanted. Melissa, can you be any more disrespectful? Like, in your face, you're not included. Don't bother to come. Like, you're a teammate, you're a friend. It's one thing to hear this kind of nonsense from Abby about exclusion, but now to have the other moms chime in and basically carry on her battle cry, hurtful. We have paying customers coming to see our kids, and I would appreciate you not doing that. I'm like, you're wasting your breath, because if you think you're worried about me showing up at your event, uh-uh. <laughs> you're wasting time, because there is no way no. I'm coming. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. To be honest with you, I'm trying to protect our fans. I mean, our fans pay a lot of money, and they don't want to come into a fight, because that's unprofessional. Because it would look really bad for us to have an argument there in front I, of I wouldn't have an argument. Ready? So, everybody, let's go. All right, let's go. Showtime, folks. There's 20 minutes before we go on, and we're not even dressed, which is a little nerve-wracking. Do you have the NARS burgundy, the NARS stick? Is this it? So, girls, you know this is a big deal. This could make or break the Abby Lee Dance Company in Australia. I don't want to see any mistakes on that stage. It's on television, it's on film. And you know what happens when people film things. They last forever. All right, so game on, game face is on. This is gonna be a big deal. Abby's speech is pretty much worthless to all of the girls except for Maddie. Ultimately, it comes down to her because she is the featured dancer and our kids are just the backups. Come on. Okay, let's let's go. go, girls. Let's go. Okay, ready, guys? OK, no, you are going to be silent backstage. I don't want to hear your mouth, and I don't want to see your lips move. Understood? Yes. We're about to take the stage for the Astro Awards and perform in front of the entire Australian entertainment world. We have to be absolutely perfect. From Dance Moms, please welcome the sensational Maddie and the girls from the Abby Lee Dance Company. Yay! Oh my god. 
The kids looked amazing on stage, but unfortunately, Maddie fell out of her turns. Thank goodness this isn't a competition, because we wouldn't have won. From my view in the wings, JoJo, you were late right at the beginning. Right off the bat, the first few steps. I couldn't really see Nia, if you corrected what I told you to today, from my angle. She did? Good. I, I looked at it. Abby's unfairness is really pissing me off. JoJo can make a minor mistake that only a crazed Abby Lee Miller can find, but Maddie can fully up, fall out of her turns, and Abby brushes it off like it's no big deal. What are Abby's grounds for critiquing girls? Maddie, don't be sad. Why are you no, sad, no, honey? No. You were amazing. You're always amazing. We're here because of you, honey. Yep, you're amazing. We wouldn't be here. No need to be sad. She's not, she's fine. Okay. She's fine. But she's I'm not fine, yeah, Melissa. She's fine. She told me she doesn't want to talk about it. Maddie's a perfectionist. She always tries to put on a brave face, but it just got to her. Jill got to her, of course. Jill always tells me to be quiet and not say anything when Kendall messes up, so she should shut her face. Her turn wasn't perfect, so she was upset. So with and herself. She's upset with herself. It's very clear that Maddie's upset. But if any other child would allow themselves to shed a tear, Abby would annihilate. And for Abby to excuse and not have the same standards, it's confusing for all and it's also not fair. OK, just Maddie, please. Just please, I want to open this. <laughs> Just remember that with stardom, with fame, with recognizability, comes responsibility and pressure and being perfect all the time. This is a turn that Maddie has been doing forever. She's not improving because Abby's not correcting her or giving her classes. She's plateauing. <laughs> but you never know when your star's going to end. You got to ride the wave. week in Australia already. And before Melbourne, we hit Sydney and Adelaide. So I thought we should stop and take a moment to explore some of the wildlife. I want the girls to have just a little tiny bit of fun before we just jump right into a jam-packed schedule. So what's in store for our girls this week? They are going to be learning a new routine to do in that showcase, the big deal in Melbourne. We are performing in a big exhibition event, and I want to do a new number this week, something about Australia. I'm going to use Kalani and Kendall and Maddie and Mackenzie. I'm not putting JoJo or Nia in the routine. This is my vacation time. This is who I want to spend my vacation with. You know I'm a big movie buff, and I love the movies, and Australia has a lot of big movie stars. So this would be kind of our tribute to something that Americans find fascinating, and that's the whole Mad Max franchise. So the group routine is a Mad Max, futuristic, very strong, forceful jazz routine. Well, where's Kalani? Is she going to be? I just noticed. Yeah, she just took a day with her mom, and they're going to look at the koalas and do everything. And um, Can I have a day? <laughs> the double standard is never ending when it comes to Kira. Kira doesn't bother to show up, but yet her daughter gets to be included in all the events. I'm here with my daughter, Jess is here with JoJo, and it's frustrating that you have people who are committed to the team, but yet aren't invited to be a part of the team experiences. It's a good thing I have something else in mind for Nia. Well, we are going to, just to let everyone know, we're going to pursue Nia's performance in Melbourne. Is Mikey here? Wait, yes, I, I didn't saw hear that. I saw him last oh, you, night. Oh, he just he's here. Yesterday. Oh, good. I invited Mikey Minden, who produced Nia's music video, to come out to Australia 
and I'm hoping whatever he did for the music video, he can translate on stage in a concert in Melbourne. I hope you can make it in between your events, and it would be great to have all the girls and Abby, Gianna, including the moms. We would love to have you. It should be a lot of fun. We have a lot of I know, events this week. I, I, so I, it's no, a, I, mean, I mean, it's just, well. Holly schedules Nia's performance the exact same day as our kids' Mad Max dance. I would love to go and watch Nia's performance. I don't see how we're going to squeeze it in. I just want to say thank you guys for no more crazy videos surfacing about you talking about JoJo. Before coming to Australia, the girls were asked in Ireland how they felt about JoJo, and they made some smart remarks. I feel really betrayed by what these girls said, and even more so that the moms didn't put a stop to it. I want you and JoJo both here to know it wasn't malicious. It was fun. They felt they were including you in talking about you. They would never mean to hurt your feelings. The part of the video that you didn't see was us saying, well, we love her so much, we, love her and we so were so talking much. good about you, and you didn't see that part. Seeing the girls making fun of me, you know, it's kind of like, Wait, what? Like, I thought you were my friend. Why are you making fun of me? Why are you saying rude things about me? Don't talk about me behind my back. I know how it is when you just kind of say stuff that you don't really mean. Yeah. It just comes out. You're like our best friend now. Yeah, we Aww. love you. Thank you. I take back all the stuff that I said. You're my bro. Good. Just so you guys know that this is the team, and the team is better as a team, not as four kids. I agree. I think they dance better when you see six of them. I just want to be normal. I want to go back. To, I mean, I want to get home, but I want to be in LA and be together. I told Holly months ago, when she decided not to use Abby for Nia's music, that there were going to be repercussions. This is one of them. Nia wasn't invited to some of the events. So she flies Mikey Minden over. They set up this huge performance for Nia. I don't, I don't know. I think Holly's playing with fire. I'm committed to the team. I'm not leaving. I'm trying to find a way to work within. Well, you're here today. Kira's not even here today. Exactly. <laughs> I'm here. So who's committed to the team and who's not? As usual, Abby shows a complete disregard for some members and lets others get away with murder. I am so sick of the hypocrisy. So Abby, how do you decide what kids that you're going to give corrections to about their performance and what kids you're going to cover up their flaws in their performance. We don't know that until I've returned. How she decides. Flaws and a mistake are different. How she decides who she's going to cover their mistakes up and not talk about or kind of help them out of them or who she's going to continue to call out their mistakes. I just want to know. Abby singles out JoJo all the time. Ready, guys? OK, no, you are going to be silent backstage. I don't want to hear your mouth, and I don't want to see your lips move. Understood? but Maddie can fall out of her turns during a solo part, and Abby brushes it off like it's no big deal. Her turn wasn't perfect, so she was upset. With herself. What are Abby's grounds for critiquing girls? Like, why is it so unfair? You expect different reactions from different kids, because if JoJo yes. fell out of a pirouette and cried and slammed two doors and left the room and went in the bathroom, you would have lost it. No, it would be OK if Maddie did it. Time. It would be OK if Kalani did it. Kendall, it's like, oh, if Kendall it. cries, she's on the bottom, I, I get it. Right, I'm just trying to figure it out. Any hey. time that I have to revisit the same error, I'm going to yell it out. Probably, because that kid's been told three or four times that week the same thing, and they're not fixing it. So by being called out in front of their peers, humiliated, upset, whatever you want to take it as, maybe that will get it through their heads. Jess, this is how it works. Maddie's protected. Even if she makes a mistake, it's brushed under the rug. Get used to it. Well, hello, everyone. Hi! I've made it all the way from L.A. to the land of Oz. Today, we're all together at a dance facility in Adelaide. And while we're in one room preparing Nia for her event, Abby is in the other room next door preparing her girls for their event. This should be interesting. Hi, you guys. Walking out. Are you? I'm I am Mikey oh, Minden. Hi, Mike. I'm like, could you have an American accent? Honey, I am born and raised in LA. Oh, I'm hi, as Mike. American as it gets. Oh, How yay, are you? We are too. I love it. Mikey Minden has worked with Usher. He's worked with Pink. If Abby doesn't want to use her as a dancer, guess what? Mikey can definitely promote her as a music artist. We set up a huge performance for you, Nia, at Federation Square Friday night in Melbourne. 
I have a whole team of people coming, dancers, costumes, hair, makeup, the whole Mikey Minden treatment. And JoJo, I have a special dance breakdown that you're gonna come out for with Miss Nia. Yay! We decided to include JoJo and Nia's performance because honestly, I never think it's right to exclude someone from anything. So I'm gonna take you two now and start rehearsal with you. Yeah, our girls, we're gonna take our girls to rehearsal because they have to learn to Fantastic. dance. Fantastic. That well, was nice meeting you. Likewise, Come on, girls. and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, Mikey, we heard enough from you, so see ya. Hi, girls. Hi. So let, oh, this is nice. Hi, Abby. Abby, did you get a chance to meet Mikey yet? Mikey Minden. This is Mikey Minden. How are you, Noah? Pleasure. Nice to meet I, you. I think we may have met at um, Robin's. No? Yes, good friends with Robin. Yeah. yeah. Girls, All you right, go get dressed quick. Thanks, honey. Mm -hmm. Come on, you guys. All right, I guess I'll we'll follow you. I don't know where okay. we're going. We're gonna go this way. This country has amazing dance instructors and choreographers. Why did Nia need to bring somebody all the way here? You should be able to work with any choreographer that you're given, Nia. What do you think of Mikey Minden being here? I think there must not be too much work in LA. <laughs> but don't you think it's funny JoJo and Nia didn't invite our kids to go perform in their event? Because they would make them look bad. Well, that's but, it. You know that. But so that's not the I don't want to be the bad guy and say that, I, but that's you know not the that. Point. I wish Holly could have worked her schedule so that all of the children could be a part of Nia's performance. But I guess she just wanted JoJo. You're gonna be the point of the pyramid. You're at the top of the pyramid. <laughs> what a concept, okay? The tone is so different. You walk in there, you can feel the tension. Could you just feel the vibe was not the same? You walk in, I'm like, oh, all. Because I! You want me to yell it? I'll yell it. You don't want me to yell it? Fix it. Five, six, seven, this is a one, two, three. Okay, so Five, six, why isn't Kalani here? What happened with that? I understand if she has to go do her score, but she still has to learn the dance. So is she not in the number then? She does have to learn the dance, but she's the star of the dance, so. One, two. Three, she's not doing the same parts they're doing. Six, seven, eight. Get it? I do, but I, I also don't think you should make her the star if she didn't show up for rehearsal. Well, I, she'd be sitting in here right now or playing the music because we're doing their part. Oh, okay. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. We need to learn this performance in two days, and Abby wants to make it seem like it's no big deal that Kira and Kalani aren't here, but that's how we're gonna look bad. And here we've got Mikey and Holly doing their thing in the other room. The last thing Abby would want is to feel that she's being shown up by Nia and JoJo's performance. Work it, work it, ba da 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 ah. He's focused, he's attentive to, and he has an assistant too. But he is engaged, talking to them, working with them, start to finish. He hasn't picked up his phone one time either. Abby's on her phone the whole time. He hasn't. I don't even know where his phone is. Holly likes the way things are. Sorry. I know. It's almost like, okay, if I can't, I'm not going to be a part of this, I'm going to do this and make it bigger and better. That's so Sorry. not what Holly used to be like, though. She's changed. She didn't used to be that person. I think Holly is doing what Holly feels she has to do to get Nia ahead. But this affects the team because by the time we get to LA, our girls need to be a united front. What's going on? Just okay. checking in, seeing how everything is going for you. Good. Well, yeah. Good. Fine. Is that Mikey Minden going to send me a gift or something? He wouldn't be here in Australia if it wasn't for me. And you know that. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he sees it yeah. quite the same way as you. I think Abby has lost her mind. Mikey's gift is that he's working with one of her students. Enjoy. This is my event. I planned it. I brought who I wanted to bring. And no one's complaining that you they're are, not part you, of your, your event. Your kid just flew around the world and had a koala today because you're piggybacking my event. You are here. Your child got on that plane because I am here. One day until Kendall and Maddie and Kenzie and Kalani will be performing for all of Australia to see. Luckily for our team, today Kira did allow Kalani to come to practice. Nia and Jojo and their mothers have already left for Melbourne. That leaves this space open for our kids to practice for their show. I do think that it bothers Abby yeah. that Holly would fly Mikey. You didn't do that for Kenzie and her music. I think the whole Holly situation is starting to get to Abby and it's kind of ruining the whole Australia trip. We're going to LA next week, which I'm happy about. I know, but look at us. We're going totally divided. 
and if they want to be divided from us, they're doing it to themselves. I think Holly is making a big mistake. I can't believe she invited Mikey Menden here to work with Nia. This was an ALDC thing. Had nothing to do with Mikey or the music videos or any of it. You know, I don't want to have a divided team. I think it's gonna be trouble. I don't know if we're gonna make it to Nia's performance to see it. Well, you know what? Poor me, poor me. Go whine to somebody else who cares, because I don't give a <laughs> You did this to yourself. Sorry, you did it to yourself. OK, let's go. What's up, you guys? Welcome to our fabulous studio in Melbourne. How fabulous is this? <laughs> We just arrived in Melbourne to have Nia start rehearsals for the biggest event of her music career so far. Nia is scheduled to perform her first song, Star in Your Own Life, in Federation Square, and we're hopeful that's gonna be a big crowd there. Mikey has big visions of what this event could be, and I hope his vision comes true. We brought in like the most professional dancers in Australia. This is the make it or break it moment. There's only one moment to be revealed as a music artist, this needs to be perfect. JoJo, there's little things that we need to work on to perfect it. And I know you can do it, but today is the day where we have to get it done. Right. Nia's happy to have JoJo dancing alongside her. It's great to have a teammate next to her that have that support. But at the end of the day, this is Nia's song that she's performing with her teammate JoJo, and they both will be seen by a lot of people. And we both have to command a solid and strong performance. Walk, walk, jiggy, jiggy, up. Whack, whack, down, crack. That was already a little bit better. There's a lot of pressure on me right now because this is my first time performing live. And I have to make sure that Mikey's proud, my mom's proud. And I want to prove to Abby and everybody else that I'm a superstar after this performance. I wonder how the other rehearsal goes. <laughs> Girls, this is the second day of rehearsal. Mad Max, look at the intensity masculinity, the anger, the intimidation factor. That's what I want. I need to see intensity, I need to see energy, and I need to see strength. It's really important that the girls give the performance of a lifetime, because simply put, if this routine does really well in Australia, then when we get off this plane in LA, we're gonna be on the right foot. Kalani, are you all caught up on what you missed yesterday? Yes, so it's just getting the timing down in your space. And just a few, like, there's one section that I have to learn. All right, well, pay attention. Don't be, you know, space cadet today. Maddie, Mackenzie, and Kendall came to Australia last year, and you guys held the koalas, and you did all that. And Kalani just wanted a little more time there, and I understand that. I just felt like she needed a day. We needed a day to go do things, to go, well, could your day have been on your time, not on the kids' time? We don't take a day well, because our kids we, have rehearsal. I've been trying to do a day on our own time, and there hasn't but been a day on our But you knew the schedule time. before we came. So you knew every single day we're booked. This is what we came here for. We didn't come to take a day. You can take a day in Arizona with your daughter, not here on our kids' time. Kira pulled Kalani because she wanted a day with her boyfriend. Nothing to do with Kalani. Obviously, her daughter isn't number one, because missing a day of rehearsal is really a setback. And it's not just for her daughter, but it's for the whole team, because it's hard on the team. Mocking have you, you seen too. the video? I have. What's it like? What is it? Well, I don't even want to do it. I got this for free, and this <laughs> for free, and this yep. for free. <laughs> Mia usually stays out of the drama, but she's fully aware of what's going on. That video about JoJo was awful. But the greatest benefit is that it's brought Nia and JoJo closer together. Do you think they really meant they were sorry whenever they said it to you at the call? Kinda. You know? Yeah. Like, I think I, a part of them still thought it was right. The girls can say that they apologize and they're sorry and we didn't mean it, but we just said it and they made us look bad and you said it. Nia's my only real friend here because she's the only one that can be nice to me and include me. It's just kind of one of those, like, IRL situations. Mm -hmm. Late. Well, 
while they lay. Chloe, watch your angle. You need to be a little bit more open to the audience because all those people over there are seeing nothing but your butt come up. And Colony, I want you to be at the same time as Maddie on that, but I'll, I'll fix that after. That's just mine. I know, but this rehearsal can't be all about you because you weren't here yesterday. All right? So if you have problems, you fix the problems. Kendall, no street clothes and clashing you know the rules. We are supposed to be performing this brand new dance to perfection, but I honestly think it's driving Abby crazy not knowing what Holly has planned for Nia and Melvin. And it's really got her on edge. No, no. Okay. You need to be here. You're in this window, and you're back. That's the problem. I don't know what's going on with my girls. They're slacking today, and I expect more from them. Australia expects more from them. You came unprepared. You don't have anything in your hair. You don't have anything in your hair. Your hair looks like a rat's nest. You don't match. You came on a team trip, and you should look like it. And she needs to be at everything. You can stay home. You don't need to be here. You do. Because the whole first 40 minutes has been reviewing what we did yesterday, putting you into it. We didn't need to do that. Abby's just totally stressed out right now. This is a big performance for our girls. The girls all know the dance. Kalani doesn't. And you know, with the Nia thing, and I think Abby might flip her lid again. We are doing a brand new number for the Australian fans. I don't want to go back in that room, but I have to, because this has to be spectacular. I can't let the fans down. Girls, you are part of the Abby Lee Dance Company. Now act like it. Girls, you understand that this is not a competition, but at this point in your life, it doesn't matter if it's a competition or not. You are always competing with yourself to be the best that you can be. You want them to say, oh my goodness, they're amazing. They just learned that yesterday. Get it? We're gonna run this one more time, maybe twice. All right, let's go. Tonight, we leave for Melbourne. This is Kalani's one and only rehearsal. So if the kids don't do well, we will know why. rehearsal for Nia's big show, and it's exciting. Mikey has done it again. He has found a venue even better than I expected. He tried to prepare me for Federation Square, but this is the real deal, and I am beyond excited. So, you guys. It's like a real performance stage. This is the real deal. I told you. You guys might want to turn around and check something out real quick. Let me see. Oh, my God! Can you believe <laughs> how massive that is? Big screen. <laughs> oh, of course. Bigger is always better. It's so amazing to see my name on a big screen, and all of Melbourne is going to see my name in lights. That's pretty awesome. Check, check. This is like legit. So here we go. I'm going to step out for a second. I'm going to count you in. Two, two, three, four, five, oh, six, seven. You. Stop. OK. Go back it up. One and two and back it up. I am so glad Nia and Holly asked JoJo to be a part of this performance. Mikey is amazing, and these rehearsals are unbelievable. Abby should be here with a pen and paper taking notes. Whip it, whip it, down, crack, work it, JoJo. Here we go. Yeah, I got this. Dude, you really think that I didn't know that I'm working it already? Thank you. I love you guys. Good night. Turn around, <laughs> run off, follow her <laughs> up. We're partying. Killed it! I'm the If Nia's able to pull it off, this can really catapult her to be seen as a pop princess. So it's critical that everything goes well. Because if not, Nia's a big target. And I think people are just looking for an opportunity to point out a flaw. Who gets to have their choreographer flown across Great. the world and a costume designer and, and hair and makeup well, and choreographer well, and pick your dance? Who gets that? We just arrived in Melbourne. We're setting up for the kids' exhibition, and we haven't heard 
a word from Holly. She is really shooting herself in the foot, let's say. Because in LA, in Hollywood, they want you to look young. They want a kid who looks young, who can play young. If they want a sexy, sassy teenager, they can hire an 18-year-old who looks 13. I wonder about the live performance. What is going to go on there? Because in the video, I think Nia looks so much older and so much more mature. And I'm not sure that was the right move for Holly. But then again, I don't think it was Holly's move. Whatever. Whatever they want to do, it's fine. I hope you have something to fall back on. This ain't it, kid. Obviously, the smoke is fabulous, but the wind is not so great. It's totally messing with my smoke. And then the stage is a little ratchet, but it's okay, because they're all professional dancers, so we're going to do it again. Okay. Mikey's a perfectionist, and so is Nia. But there are a lot of moving parts to this performance, and Mikey's used to dealing with really big celebrities, like Usher. What if we're not ready for it? Don't you guys do a backwards thing? Oh, yeah. It was a little off. Okay. okay. I love the choreographed chaos of it, but yeah. if those moments are together, it looks like we didn't rehearse and I didn't do my job. It's nerve-wracking to do a performance like this because there's so many things that can go wrong. are going to perform at a big exhibition event here in Melbourne. I don't know what JoJo and Nia are doing. They have their own things going on. But I think that Mad Max is like a cooler, edgier Australia that the fans are going to love. You guys, is there an adult eight black anywhere? Did we just sell it? I just sold one. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> We're good. We're good. This is Abby's private event. And who walks in? Jess and Holly. I'm all for supporting the team, but Abby is not going to be happy if she finds them here. We just wanted to come and support the girls and you. I know the atmosphere here is a little weird. We are stopping by despite being warned by others. Don't stop by. I just want to tell you, don't show up tomorrow to any of our events. But I wanted to do the right thing and encourage everyone to come out for Nia's performance. It would be nice to have a united team. So how's Mad Max well, looking? Well, it's fine, but um, Kalani missed the first day of rehearsal. What happened? They took an us day. Did you guys get to take an us day? No. Yeah, when have you ever taken an I've us been day. here from morning to night. I know if JoJo would have got to do all this, I would have yeah, been there. I would have been there. Night no. too. Yeah. If I was allowed, I, I would have been here. Kira and Kalani have like this elite status. Like nothing they do will ever be wrong in Abby's eyes. Whereas anything I do is just automatically wrong. Anything Nia does is like wrong. It is Unbelievable. You took an S day but one anyway, day, too. So No, I took a day for my daughter to record <laughs> her music and process being oh, yelled at. I thought it was a day. That was, that that was a you day, though. No, it was, no, a, it was a day for her to No, she claimed it stuff. wasn't her day, like a me day. Yes, like, to uh, regroup after Abby right, tried to right. sabotage her music career, and Nia took a day to record a song. That was a very different day well, of a relaxation. We weren't relaxing. Well, Connie yeah. didn't play either. She we went and did relaxed. school. Holly, did you come to cause trouble? or did you come to say hi? It's time to go. I think we better get in there, and then you guys better go out there, just in case, because it's been a good day. Just in case. I really hope that the moms will find in their heart to come out and support Nia, and whether they show up or not will really show to all of us if they're truly our friends. Oh, my gosh. You look great. There's a lot of pressure on me right now because I have to make sure that I do my very best so that Mikey's proud, my mom's proud, and that just to make me proud. Take this experience and transfer it to when you go to LA. What do you want people to know you as? Do you always want to be just known as an Abby Lee Dance Company member? Or do you want to be known as Nia Sue, the artist, the performer, the entertainer? Mm -hmm. Abby got you to a certain level, and you just want to continue growing. This is an opportunity for Nia to show the world she is capable of being the star that she really believes that she is. The one person who I think we are missing is Aubrey. Aubrey is a singer-songwriter. She is a huge success, and she has taken an interest in my daughter. I'm so proud of her. 
have all you've accomplished in such a short period of time. You prove to everyone that you can do it your way and do it with respect and dignity and be able to showcase your talent to its full potential and I'm so proud of you, baby. Oh, thank you. Our next goal is to get Mia noticed in Los Angeles. If her Australian performance goes well, she'll be leaps and bounds ahead of any competition when we get back home to the States. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Make some noise for your favorite dance teacher. Mad Max is a new number I decided to do for our Australian fans. Kalani missing an entire day of rehearsal could jeopardize the entire routine. My name is attached to this number, and if Kalani messes this routine up, I will never let that kid hear the end of it. time for our big exhibition here in Melbourne. I have prepared a special routine to honor Australia. And representing the Abby Lee Dance Company, please welcome Mad Max. I am really happy that I get to be the lead of this dance, but I really have to pull it off because we only had one rehearsal. So good luck. <laughs> I think my dancers gave a bad performance today. They were on the money, even Kalani. But that's the last time I ever give her mother a pass. All in all, I think this was a great experience in the land down under, and I can't wait to head back to LA to our brand new home for the rest of the season. How's it feel to be in Australia? <laughs> All right, I have to let them go change. Thank you very much. Excited? Yeah. I've been working really hard to make my dream come true, and my dream is now reality. I finally feel like I'm my own person instead of feeling like another face in the background. Do you want the moms and the girls to come? You know, I would like them to come, but if they're gonna cause commotion and everything, it might not be the best thing, so. <laughs> if it comes, it's gonna happen. Yeah, it, it's, if that even happens. But like, I, I feel like they want to come too, but like, they was too scared of Abby to come. Right. Let me see the big reveal. Yeah! See, yeah. like, how do you feel? Bad. Great. You have the best stomach, like, ever. Turn around, let me see. Do a twirl. She doesn't hear that too often, so that's nice. Well, to hear. it's true. I'm really nervous because this is the first time performing my song in front of an audience, so I have to do a great job. I can't get you my regular mom pep talk. Well, we, we have to hurry up because the show's about to go. OK, I know the show's about to start. But speaking of the show, give them a Mia Sue performance that will have the world talking. 
make this a defining moment. Like you look back on your career and you say, that's the moment that put me on the map. come from and they came here to see Mia I like in shock this is a pivotal moment for Mia and it would be nice to be able to share it with friends <laughs> Melissa Kier and I snuck out of the event while the kids were all taking pictures unfortunately the kids were totally booked but for Holly's sake for Nia's sake I really wanted to see what she's been working on all week. Gang's all here. Yeah. Gang's all here. <laughs> I may actually choke up for a few moments to actually see that the moms came out to support Nina. I think we can repair a lot of damage in our relationship now. Maybe we can go to LA now and not be a divided team. crowd out here and the pressure is really on. Mia cannot disappoint. She can't be nervous. She has to nail this performance. was so incredibly amazing. This kid was meant to be on stage. The crowd loved it. It was phenomenal. I have something to say real fast. I encourage everybody to be who they want to be. 
and to be themselves. And you need to own it because this is your life and you guys better walk it out. I see a different performer. I see someone who believes that she's a star. This is telling me we're doing something right. Now who wants to see JoJo? special attention from Abby. JoJo has what it takes to be a star, and she's on her way. As a team, we were divided. But I think the fact that we showed up and supported Nia 110% really helps us get back to our team. really well for my first time. It was just so amazing. There were a thousand people there. I'm really happy about that. For your first performance, like, ever? This is blowing my mind right now, and I've worked with everyone. So the fact that these people came to support you, this is just, like, next level stuff. LA, here we come. After this incredible performance in Melbourne, the stakes are pretty high. That means that she will be even more marketable and noticeable when we arrive in LA. Guys and women. One, two, three.